so you were destined to be the future, like, just jaded gun store employee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it at the time. Yeah. But None yes. of them ever do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So obviously we've got Brandon Herrera on the podcast with us today. Dude, first of all, the fact that you're here at almost three o'clock in the morning, I've got to say, I'm really appreciative of you. First of all, when, when, when was the first time we met? I'm, th I'm thinking back and it was a uh, point blank range. I want to say mm -hmm. it was at point it, blank range. Yeah. In uh, Charlotte. And yep. Right outside yep. In, in Matthews, North Carolina, right outside of Charlotte. And they were doing their entire like train shot event. Yep. Uh, Alex Zedra was there, Jade, a couple other people, Tracy Guns, all these other people were there. And I remember seeing this, this fucking hippie <laughs> showing up with, with sandals, wanting to shoot a competition with like this Russian little pistol too. And I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? The guy who scored in like almost last? That was it. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck and was I, that guy? And I'm like, you know what? I want to be friends with him. I was like, that is the guy I I, I want to be friends with. And uh, let's not blame the Makarov. Like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the Makarov is a much better pistol than I could be a shooter. So you know, I just want to. I actually, I, I feel like I should do like a tactical Makarov now. I kind of want to do like a modern like RMR cut like comped Makarov. I feel like that'd be cool. That would be cool. Because I feel like if you added mm -hmm. some mass to the slide, I'm sorry to get like nerdy right nope, off the bat. Do no, it. no, no, Russia's starting to do, do, do that. Yeah, if you That's added some thing. mass mm -hmm. to the slide, because it's direct blowback, like 9 by 18 but it's a really mm -hmm. snappy pistol. If you added some mass to that, I feel like you could be okay. Like add like a little like break or whatever, like make the recoil a little bit better, a little RMR or whatever. I feel like, yeah, you could do a like pretty decent little modern back rock. I like it, yeah. Well, getting yeah, to, all, uh, all the surplus people that sure. follow classic fucking hate that I just said that, but I mean, you know, hey. Yeah. I'm over, here, fine. I'm over here thinking, can I just JB weld an arm RCC to it and call it a day? Yeah. I mean, now I, now I hate, point, yeah. now I hate me for suggesting it. Dude. Nope. No, it takes you back. It's, it's all on you now, bro. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. All right. So that, I think yeah, that, that was like three or four years ago. That was, like that, that was a couple of years ago. And, um, and you know, I, I was following the AK guy for a while and I saw, you know, I saw you show up and I was like, who the fuck is this guy? And uh, and then I'm like, oh my god, that's the AK guy. And I was like, how about that? I'm such a uh, who the fuck am I? And um, and we talked for a, for a couple of minutes. I think it wasn't anything big, whatever. And it was one of those things where it's just like you and I obviously had a sense of humor that just kind of lined up and it meshed. And um, obviously, we're, here we are again, almost irreverent, like, irreverent <laughs> as hell. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. We probably and made some really fucked up jokes in front of each other. And we're like, oh, OK, you, you didn't win. So, all right, we're good. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, and it's like we didn't offend each other right off the bat. So I was like, OK, all right, cool. You know what? Friends. And here we are, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, since then, we've partnered on a couple of things. Um, uh, we did an a uh, we did an AK-50 giveaway. We did. In fact, well, we did an AK and a 50 giveaway. <laughs> yep, that's uh, what there it is. It. There yeah. it is. There it is. I figured. I figured you would clarify, right? So everybody's gonna be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> it was like, "When did that happen?" It's like, "Well, it it didn't, but technically it did because we did give away one of the AK guys AKs and a fifty and a fifty. There it is. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and ask the question that everybody else is gonna ask. When are we gonna actually give away an AK fifty? So one of the cool things that I have to actually offer you guys first, because I just found out about it yesterday when I got a mm. text from my supplier, uh, the new AK-50 V3, like the, this is going to oh. be like the pretty one, like the really like refined version of it. Cause we, we had like the V1, which was like, we tested a bunch of shit, like kind of saw how it would like, you know, perform the V2. We actually got to be like a cycling prototype. Like we got that to actually like cycle 10 round magazines. Like that was like the cool one. Mm. The V3 is going to be the pretty one that hopefully performs, you know, like the best that it can be at, at right now. Like, you know, obviously we'll, we'll make updates later, but whatever. Uh, we just got our receiver guy, like the guy who's making our, our receivers for us. Uh, he just now finished them. So we got five receivers on the way. Oh, wow. And wow. our machine shop that we're partnering with uh, is going to have some of their parts on the way soon, too. So maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Hmm. <clears throat> so you got an AK-50 update before an AK-50 update. Cool. That's well, the, what, you know what's really funny is mm -hmm. by the time this podcast comes out, this is probably going to be old news. I mean, we'll figure out something. 
Well, it depends <laughs> well, on. Well, we can get out pretty quickly. <laughs> depends on how fast your editor is. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> she's not looking at us. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> she's not paying attention. She doesn't care what we're saying right now. <laughs> so, all right. Well, first of Clint, all, where's your beer? Um. Uh, well, actually, I was kind of waiting on. Can you just like? Oh yeah. yeah no, I mean this is okay. It's, sure. It's classic firearms. Yeah, apple branded. juice. Mm -hmm. I love that dark it's, brown it's, apple juice. That's it's, fantastic. It's, it's good apple juice. I, I got to tell you, it's some strong beer. It is um, strong apple juice. Anyway, so um, the AK-50 obviously is something that you have been known for, and I got to tell you, dude. Honestly, the the, the well, engineer before we before we talk about this, I, yeah, <laughs> just, yeah, just get some yeah. fucking apple juice before we start going down this rabbit hole. I was <laughs> I was just getting ready to compliment you about oh, the engineering oh, okay. marvel. Case, oh. Yeah, so if you want to regurgitate that, the image, I mean, for everybody that's listening and not watching, you should probably just be watching. Yeah, you um, should be watching. Why the fuck would you listen oh, to this? <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean, honestly, no. Okay, but no, dude, an inner like engineering marvel, bro. You've got so much happening with that. And for anybody that wants to kind of question you, like, hey, where's the AK-50 and all that stuff? Obviously, it's a fun thing. It's a troll thing. Whatever, dude. But, bro, you're literally like building out a semi-automatic AK style 50 caliber 50 BMG at that. Mm -hmm. It's not like it's like, you yeah. know, you're not talking 50 Action 50 Express. 50 the uh, mm -hmm. Beowulf. Right. If I could be like honest, like God's honest truth about that yeah. is that it was a huge undertaking that I was not prepared for when I first started the project. I have been privileged with uh, knowing a lot of industry contacts who have helped me a lot with that to let me know what I didn't know. Yeah. Like really, really, really helped me along and a lot of great people uh, that have like some of the people that I've worked with who have actually put in the work on that, like, like my employees and stuff like that. Like they, they're, they're the real like brains behind it. Like mm -hmm. working with them on the day to day has been a fucking privilege of mine. So, and you know, what's something really cool about you, bro, that I got to point out there is that's not the first time I've heard you say that. I've, I've heard you recommend like, I've heard you like applaud your team and things like that and say like, you know, it's, uh, it's these guys, it's these guys, it's these guys. And I'm I the think, idiot on the internet, man. <laughs> like that, that, that's my job. <laughs> Dude. Well, I, I just got to tell you, man, because everybody looks at you and, and you know, you and I just walked through the Venetian today. Mm -hmm. You, you called me before the podcast, before you got to the circle bar. Right. And you're like, Dude, I just want to walk over there. I just don't want to get swarmed. Right. And it's like, like as much as I appreciate these guys and everything, it's like, it's cool. But like, you know, I know you and I want to go do something. We want to work on something together and this is what we're currently working on together. So, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so there's that. And dude, I mean, I gotta, I gotta be honest with you, man. I, I'm really, I'm really happy that you and I met, we became friends and, oh. and now, you know, and I know we can be a little, you know, a little weird about it, but at the same time, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, who who was it that I was talking with earlier? Um, uh, Don't meet your heroes, right? Mm -hmm. No, it was it was a dim, demo. It was Demolition mm -hmm. Ranch. Yeah. It was Matt yeah. Carricker. Yeah. You know, the guy that I've been watching since you know for however long. Same. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. um, uh, I remember watching him in like fucking middle school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and when I was talking with him, FPS Russia, Hickok Forty Five. That was the big yeah. one. I was yeah. so I was happy to hear him say that his his like hero you know, starting yeah. YouTube was FPS Russia because right. I feel like we all can relate to that. Dude, if, like that, that was a big age. moment for me, like not yeah. to diminish the classic firearms podcast, but like a Dude, big I'm, moment no, for me was being done. on PKA with FPS Russia. Yeah. yeah. I watched like, being on that yeah. podcast. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Cause that was, yeah, I, I feel like that wasn't my best, but like I, I enjoyed being on that podcast cause I listened to it like all the time. It was a good update for all of us who mm -hmm. had seen FPS Russia, you know, grow through that. And then That's all of a crazy. sudden just drop off the face of the earth. And, and, and it was so sad an because everybody, everybody heard what happened to like his manager. Yeah. Right. And then, yeah. and then all of a sudden he dropped off because he was wearing, if you know the story, you know what I'm about to say, because he was wearing shorts. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And if you know what I'm talking about, cool. If you don't look it up, because it's absolute bullshit, if you ask me. Um, uh, but because he was wearing shorts, all of a sudden, now this, this, this guy just disappeared. And he was somebody that we all kind of looked up to. Even, you know, Demo Ranch, Matt Carricker, he, you know, I mean, we all know him and everything, and I absolutely love him. He's a freaking cool guy. And mm -hmm. he, he was just kind of like one of us, too. And that's something I've always appreciated about you. And it's one of those things where it's like, it's really, really like a humble experience when me, I mean, here I am, you know, Clint freaking Morgan, I, all I mm -hmm. dude, all I literally did was respond one day to a, um, uh, a, a job posting. You know, somebody said, Seriously? Hey, yeah. yeah, what's that? Seriously? 
Yeah. Yeah, I didn't well, know that. Yeah, all it was was honestly like I, I hated the job I was at before. I was a pay a payroll consultant. Absolutely hated it, and and um, I was really told, that that sounds intriguing. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Well, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, you know, thinking about it makes me wanna. <laughs> Amen. All right. <clears throat> Best job I ever had. Yeah, right. Uh, absolutely not. However, um, uh, but one of my buddies, you know, or a friend of mine, a mutual friend, acquaintance, whatever the hell you want to call him, said, dude, I'm on this website all the time, Classic Firearms. And I'm like, okay, well, that, that sounds kind of cool. I'm like, well, what do they do? It's like, well, they sell Classic Firearms. I'm like, okay, well, that's okay. Whatever, dude. And he's like, well, they're hiring, like, you know, um, uh, customer service positions. Mm-hmm. Said okay, all right, cool. Let's 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 check that out. And here I am. And and, and after after some time, I actually couldn't accept a position because it was going to be a, too big of a pay cut, and I, and I just couldn't, you know, at that point in time. I'm like, damn it, man, I, this sounds like a dream job. I'll be talking mm-hmm. about guns to people that need help about guns. I'm like, oh my god, yes, because I like guns, mm-hmm. right? <clears throat> so you were destined to be the future, like, just jaded gun store employee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it at the time. But None yes. of them ever do. Right. <laughs> so, and then... Uh, you're like, it's like World War One. Like, you're the future old hand. You just don't know it yet. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. So, you know, I just... I, I, I actually turned down the job offer that I got. And, um, you know, uh, about six or so months go by. And the owner of Classic reaches back out to me and said, hey, I might have a different position available for you. Would you like to come check this out? I'm like, oh, wow. Okay, I guess I left an impression. And that was to be the warehouse manager. And so I did that for a year. I actually took that job. Really? Okay. Yeah. The, the, I'm, I'm learning more of like the like Clint Morgan uh, lore. I didn't oh, know Oh, well, well don't worry. It's your turn in just a couple minutes, so oh, don't worry. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's quick lore. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's quick lore, dude. Yeah. I didn't know right. this. I thought you just, yeah, I thought you just like were birthed uh, from the womb as a, a media oh. personality. Like dude, I, I really wish I would have been because I might have been a little bit better at my job. I'm just saying. <laughs> Same <Same-sies>. as <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, <clears throat> I did that for a year. And I noticed one, th- one thing that we really had going for us, but we weren't really like capitalizing on was our social media. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, ben, the general manager, awesome dude. He started the company, just a fantastic guy. He was doing all, all of our YouTube videos. It's okay. You can, I don't know what you're doing yeah, under the sorry, table. It was, it was the like, little wristband from the party earlier. <laughs> I just realized I look like a fucking tool. I'll be honest with you. I'm literally uh-huh. looking at you right now and did not notice it. I, I just I just noticed it now. I'm like I look like a tool. <laughs> I mean, I'm everyone so knows you're under 18. It's fine. Oh yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I look like I'm fucking 40. I know, right? You, it's it's surprising actually. It's a good 40. Though. Yeah. Oh, thank you. you. Figure out yeah. yeah, of course, man. I so, won't ever see 40, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, if the ATF has anything to do with it, <clears throat> I was yeah. gonna say. Anyway, anyhow, anyhow, I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm no, sorry. no, dude, you did not interrupt whatsoever. All I'm saying is, you know, I. I saw this job posting, denied it initially because I wouldn't be able to afford it. Took a, a position as the warehouse manager, which honestly was really cool because I always liked surplus firearms. I liked the old school guns, right? And uh, But I never really like worked close with them. My dad had an M1 carbine that I first learned to shoot on, mm-hmm. you know? And that was always like, that was my thing. He had a 1911 that I learned how to shoot on. And I was like, all right, that's cool, you know? And then all of a sudden, classic firearms. Holy shit, I wonder what they sell. It's not like in the name or anything, mm-hmm. right? And so, um, you know, I accept this position as a warehouse manager, and uh, I come over, and all of a sudden we get 3,000 SKSs. <laughs> we get 3,000 Yugoslavian SKSs in, uh, a bunch, a shit oh, yeah. ton of P64s. And then literally within, like, my first couple of weeks of taking the job, Such double O. <laughs> I th- I'm sorry, I remember like the first time we, we ever hung out, I think I asked for some of those P64s. I'm like, do you have any of those like hidden under a fucking desk or something somewhere? <laughs> like, where, where where do you have some? Y'all got any of them fucking P64s? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Dude, I mean, they're such cool guns. And here's the funniest thing. I did finally get some, by the way. Oh, mm-hmm. did you? Well, it wasn't from us, was it? It wasn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. We'll forgive you this time, but next time. Well, if you have them in stock, I'll buy them. I mean... Mm-hmm. If we have them in stock. That's the hard part right now with surplus, too. Yeah, It's drying up, man. Oh, man. All right, you know it's what? We're, we're going to hop on industry that. with that, yeah. Yeah, we're going to hop on that topic here, here in just a moment. But I, but I just want to say, you know, we put a lot of, of money into our 
I mean, dude, we literally flew all of our podcasting equipment to do this right here, right now, mm -hmm. right? Is this um, the first podcast you did? No, no, no. no, no, no okay, no, no, thank no. God. Don't, don't, don't like, feel that special. Like, bro. Jesus Christ. Like, this is... I know, I was just going to feel bad for the audience. Nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. This might be the first one they hear. We'll see. I mean, it's, it's yeah. true. You know, you never know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, dude, we flew all this equipment mm -hmm. out. Um, we've, we've done... You know, I, I got to say, I'm, I'm really proud of what Ben did with this company. Yeah. He started it back in the late 80s by the sale of a couple of Mosin Nagants at a gun show, right? And it's like, what, what better name for a company other than Classic Arms, you yeah. know, which is what he started off with. And we eventually became Classic Firearms because, <laughs> because of a um, uh, dot com type of issue. The classic arms was an issue, you know, that the the um, what's the word I'm looking for right now? The URL. Domain there it stuff. is. Yeah. The domain, domain and all that stuff. Room. You know, that was already taken. And what wasn't taken was classic firearms. Thus was born. Right? And it's like, oh that's pretty cool. Right? And so all these years later, here we are now after so much trial and error. Holy shit, now all of a sudden we're flying out podcasting equipment to the Venetian at Shot Show. With Brandon motherfucking Herrera? There's a story arc there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is the beginning of the downfall. Yeah. Is what <laughs> <that> is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the Roman Empire went through it, you know? Exactly. <laughs> so, you know, I, mean, I have I'll, so many jokes I can't make about oh, that. Man, there's so many, dude. <laughs> I mean, we can always edit it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just go for it. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, I don't think I will. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, actually. <laughs> So, man, yeah, I, the audience knows where I was going with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, well, I hope they do. If they don't, figure your shit out. Um, uh, but I, I just got to say, dude, what an honor and privilege it is to have, you know, to have you here. It's not. You're a friend. Yeah, uh, well, dude. And, 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 and I mean that. Like, well, yeah, we, we've hung out, like, several times. Like, you came down to San Antonio, like, I think last year. Yeah. Got to hang out a little bit on the Riverwalk and whatnot. I, yeah. I consider you a friend. Well, okay. you know, I, I really appreciate that. And I will never forget SHOT Show last year. I told... Um, uh, our editor, Andrea, and I told Katie, I'm turning in early tonight. I think it was about like 1.30 in the morning. And I said, I'm going to bed. Okay. I, I, I want to go to sleep. And we said, you know what? That's a good idea. We're all going to go to bed. The rest of the team said, you know, what? we're going to stay out. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And then you text me and you said, oh, no. mm -hmm. and you said, do you want to meet Sebastian Gorka? Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep. I forgot about and, that. And I said, yeah, which day? And you said, now. Right now, <laughs> he was at Circle Bar. Like, dude, Sebastian's mm. become a very, a very, very good friend. He's he's really just kind of a cool guy. Like, he goes to Shot Show because he genuinely just has a love of firearms, especially like like a lot of the com block firearms I I enjoy and whatnot. Because he's I, I believe he's Hungarian originally, mm -hmm. and so uh, yeah, no, he just has a love for that kind of stuff, and so we 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 get along quite well. But I will never forget hopping out of that Uber. And, and seeing that text message, and I literally looked at my editor, Andrea, and I said, fuck. Because <laughs> I knew, I knew, I was like, well, so much for that early night at 1.30 in the morning. Again, here we are at 3 o'clock in the morning, yeah. right? And uh, and I said, dude, I will never say no to a, to a text message like that. Like, shot, I don't give a shows a little, shot show time's a little different. It is. It is. Yeah, it is. It is. I mean, and, clearly, here we are. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Man, I, I felt I felt like I was doing pretty good this time around. Like mm -hmm. I was usually in bed before like one o'clock this time around. Dude, mm -hmm. I, 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 you know, I kind of feel like that's across the board. I don't, and, and, and was it, uh, uh, I was just it, getting old, man. Yeah, that's exactly what you said earlier. And, and I said, dude, I mean, maybe this year is just kind of boring or whatever. And you're like, no, I think we're just getting old. And I'm like, we're getting jaded, man. We're getting jaded. I don't know. You said this was your seventh shot show. I, I think so. I think that like my first shot was uh, 2016 and I think they skipped a year. So, yep, they yeah. did. Mm -hmm. That they did. You know, COVID and all that. Yeah, yeah because that bullshit. It was um, 2021. It was, mm -hmm. what was yeah, skipped. That was skipped. Was it 21? Yeah, yeah it was 21. Because I remember mm -hmm. 2020, like my parents were like, be careful from this new virus that's coming out of China. I'm like, whatever, mom. Like, it's not going to be a big deal. Fuck. I'm going through a phase. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yes. Because I think, like, by the time phase. I was leaving SHOT Show, there were, like, six cases announced in the U.S. It's like, oh, mm -hmm. fuck. You look back retroactively, you're like, oh, okay. That, yeah, <clears throat> okay. Slightly big deal. It was a small inconvenience for most of the country. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, most people, you know. I mean, it is what it is, and for some it was bad. For some it wasn't. 
you know, and, 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 and it kind of sucks either way because, well, I mean, yeah, there was that year off and whatnot, but mm -hmm. for you to say this was your seventh shot show and then Ryan and I look at each other because he, he and I, you know, we, we actually, we broke the mold, I guess you could say. Um, what we got really popular for was our show coverage and that was NRA annual meet, uh, 2019. That's right. Yeah. First one. And that was our first time. Where, doing uh, that. where was that one? Indianapolis. Indianapolis. I yeah, because I think they're going back to Indy uh, this year, right? I really hope so because I should know my way around the streets a little bit better. <laughs> you got I, lost. I, I honestly, oh no! Yeah. I really? got lost and my phone died, and oh. so did the scooter that I was die that that, that I was riding on. It died oh, too. Oh no! Yeah, I right. I literally walked up to a cop, and uh, I said, "Hey, bro." Three a.m. By the way, it, it was actually about the witching hour, and I said, "Um." Hey bro, I'm I'm lost. I'm looking for the hotel that has like a train station running through it. And he literally just he didn't say a damn word to me. He just pointed in the direction I needed to go. And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I just started walking in that direction and it was shady. You know, there's and like I, a 5% chance your guardian angel is watching this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I I'll just never forget that cuz I was like, "Well, this is weird." Again, it was about two o'clock in the morning and i was like uh, we got to interview a lot of a lot of manufacturers in the morning and um hopefully i make it wilson combat almost <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was that was a fun Dude, that was, i think that was like our first interview for the day after that he was like it, right before it he was like i'm not feeling good dude so I, I, I told like, i told ryan i said dude, bro i'm not i'm not feeling that great he's like well let's just film this interview with wilson combat and see how you feel if you go back and watch our NRA 2019 show coverage, you will see me almost hurl on Wilson Combat. Yeah, so <laughs> before I go to bed tonight, I will watch that. It's a I pro, really it's want a pro to shooter see that. for Wilson Combat. He's talking through <laughs> the new firearms that they that these these amazing developers have been coming up with, and then he's he's talking about the new technologies and everything, and Clinch is swaying left and right, just back and forth. And I'm like, oh, I have this is been not there more well. times than I would care to admit. That might be t that might be me tomorrow morning at nights. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? They deserve it. No, they all right, don't. all right. Because just last do karate year, with him. Yeah, you it's know, all good. You know what, dude? Last year at Shot Show, you know what Knights Armament told me to do? Not verbatim. Get a real job. No, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, no, that's it. That's <laughs> <laughs> they, they told me I, when I walked up there and my usual pitch is, Hey, I'm Clint from classic farms. You may not know me, but I would love to shoot a video on any of the new or new product or anything that you would like to spotlight. And typically I get, Oh, absolutely. Yes. Come over here. Come over here. And, and a lot of times, you know what? They, they don't know who classic farms is. And that's totally cool, dude. I don't care because quite honestly, I don't want to spotlight your product. And then all of a sudden you get an invoice that right. says, Hey, saw you on the classic farms, YouTube channel. And they're like, who the fuck is that? And then all of a sudden they look it up and they're like, Oh shit, that's who the fuck that was. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah, dude, thank you. Because we can be completely open and honest with one another, but Knights armament, they don't give a shit either way. No. Yeah. They, no. They, there's certain companies, like, people don't get in the gun industry. They're like, why don't they sell this to me? It's like, because they have government money, and they don't fucking care. HK enters the chat. <laughs> when you're fulfilling that many contracts, the civilian market doesn't entertain you. Yeah. It's like, oh, mean, yeah, you want this screw yeah. for your thing? It's $80, mm -hmm. but it costs you 30 cents to make it. Yeah, we don't really give a fuck if you buy it. Then don't buy yeah. it. Yeah. Then yeah, that's the answer. It. Don't buy it. And mm -hmm. then they buy it. And like, yeah, like exactly. it's, 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 because it's because insane. because what are you going to do without it? Mm -hmm. Exactly. What not shoot your gun that you've always dreamed of? Mm. Oh, you want a G thirty six? Oh no. Yeah. I love G <laughs> I, I, I love G thirty six. I have so, I still haven't done my G thirty six video. I've I had one for a while. Oh oh, is it a T thirty six? Yeah yeah yeah. Actually, oh, yeah. there it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, Tommy Bell. That's good. Tommy about Fox, dude. That's, that's, oh, yeah, that's good shit, yeah, man. Yeah, he, do, he, do, he, he does a lot of really cool shit that, like, we don't have on, mm -hmm. on the American mm -hmm. market. Like, I, 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 like, any qualms I have with that shit is nothing to do with him because, like, he, he does a lot of really cool shit that we can't get otherwise, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is I, super however. cool. <laughs> yeah, however. <laughs> however. Not, a, not a fan of the platform. <laughs> <laughs> so. Dude, I mean, it is what it is. But, you know, like I was saying, I walked into Knights Armament. And I, I don't know. I said, I want to. I just want to shoot a video on your products, even if it's your legacy products like the SR twenty five, the M one ten. I mean, people love this shit, mm -hmm. right? 
still like that's big money shit. Right. It is. And, and people are interested in it. Yeah. yeah. So Even if too. you can't buy it, people would be willing to click on it just to see it. Mm-hmm. If they see Knight's Arms code, they're like, oh, yeah, let me click on that. Mm-hmm. I want to see what the hell they got that I can't afford nor nor have, never have, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's like, all right, cool. And those guys literally told me, <clears throat> let me make sure I say this correctly. <clears throat> We're not those guys. What? So I said, we, okay, well, where are those guys? I said, look, dude, we're not going to do an interview with you. And I'm like, okay, that's, that's cool. So there's nobody here willing to talk about the SR25 or the SR15 even. We've, we've given away a couple of them. Alec came back mm-hmm. um, a couple of hours later. Yeah. They I saw was the, with him. They yeah, because yeah, I, was, I was with, uh, who was recording? Grant mm-hmm. was recording at that point in time. Uh, for me... And you were recording with Alec, and you went to you went up there, and they saw the Classic Firearms logo, and they said, "Look, I already told your other guy, I'm not going to fucking record with you." That was it. Were those were the those were the words? Right? No, that was it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And Alec, being the smart thinker that he was, uh, said, "Oh, I'm here to talk about sales," and they changed their fucking tune. And that was like, "Oh wow, okay, that's really cool, and that's really I almost right. respect that." Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, mm-hmm. you're one of the few people that comes to Shot Show to make money. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's weird. Well, you know that's, <laughs> yeah. that's cool. Everybody else is here for clout. That's fucking odd. That's really cool. You, except you spent all this fucking. You spent like five hundred thousand dollars on a booth to make money. That's it, bizarre. That's exactly. that is bizarre. But you would think you'd also want to be able to like you know kind of promote the items that you're trying to make money on to the platforms that are actually trying to promote you. But uh, well, well, we've known this has been a thing for a while. It's like the gun industry is always like fucking five years behind everybody else as far yeah. as media goes and everything like that. Like right. the gun industry is like horrifically behind. And certain companies like in the gun industry are seven years behind. Mm-hmm. But I mean, that, that's, that's kind of like been the uphill battle. Yeah. It's, so the funny thing about all that is was um, this, this year. You know, this has I, been well, a long podcast of just tangents. Dude, who cares? Like, dude, let's just, no, I don't give a shit. I'm, yeah. I'm having a good time. I'm hanging out with you guys. I, I forget we're recording a podcast at certain parts well, of this. So it's all good. Yeah. yeah dude, well, you know what? That's that's what I think is, makes a really good podcast is whenever you forget that you have a microphone like literally looking right at you like it's some sort of dick. Um, yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> that pause. I mean, we, we understood. <laughs> I wanted to clarify that. One. I just wanted to clarify, right? <laughs> um, uh, but You're not you going to deep throat the Shure M7 <laughs> right, right, right in front of you? You thought about it. I could, You're still thinking about I it. I could probably. Yeah. Anyway, so you know, that's, that's what makes that's what makes it that's good. That's Patreon. Yeah. Oh. We don't have that. <laughs> Just came up with it. No, no classic firearms after dark. <laughs> I mean, this is quite literally after dark. But uh, but no, dude. I mean, that's what I think it makes a really cool like you know segment or whatever the fuck you want to call it is, yeah. dude. Once you build a relationship with somebody, it's so much easier to talk with someone, right? You know, I'll be honest. When we had Stephen Williford on. I didn't know. I mean, we just met that guy just day, that day. And uh, he came up, and he was one of the easiest people to talk with. I thought whenever he was going to sit down in front of me, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if this guy was just going to freeze up. I didn't know if I was going to freeze up. I didn't know what was going to happen. Then all of a sudden, it became me and him sharing, um, like, I mean, and not in any type of weird way whatsoever, but a moment. This dude went through some shit, mm-hmm. right? And yeah. he decided to pick up his AR that he home-built, Load up a couple of rounds, and when I say a couple of rounds, I mean eight, and then charge a, a, a mass killer, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, and and did it did so effectively. And now this guy's sitting across from me, and I'm wondering, bro, I like to think I can train hardcore. I th- I'd like to think after 12 years in the Marine Corps, I could do something pretty fucking badass. But this guy actually fucking did it. Yeah, he, not many people could say that, right? And so, and so, initiative. you know, and so, but the but the funny thing about that is, I literally met that guy earlier that day, right? And I'm like, I don't know how this is gonna go. I hope I hope I can carry a conversation. I know I'm pretty good at talking. I mean, that's literally what I'm paid for, right? And it's like, um, I hope this goes okay. And then I and then and then I literally a text message from Brandon, right? I, I send you a message, and I'm like, late night <laughs> podcast. And you're like, let's go, bro. And, right. and, and here we are now. And, and this is one of the really cool things is once you build a relationship with somebody, you know, and again, you know, I've mentioned this in a couple of podcasts now too, never meet your heroes type of thing. I got to be honest, dude. I was a fan of yours way before I was. I'm so fucking sorry. 
<laughs> <laughs> you know, I was a fan of yours, dude. Before I was a classic, you turned him into this. Yeah, you, you yeah, God, you, I'm responsible you for you. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, you did this. That's yeah. on you, bro. Yeah. yeah, especially if you do some really weird shit later. Then I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like watching the news, like I did that. Well, what's really <laughs> funny is I've done really weird shit. Leading up to this. Okay, good. Good. I'll, I'll <laughs> feel a little less price. bad then. That's all good. He has a press package. It's just waiting to come in. <laughs> <laughs> so, but dude, I mean, as soon as he gets fired from classic, yeah. then it's then it's, like, it's all gonna fucking then, leak. It's, you know? Then, then yeah. it all just comes comes to light. You know, and then I'm gonna be like, hey, all the Ben you. money that's been suppressing the weird shit. You know, <laughs> exactly. and, uh, and I'm just gonna be like, hey, um, uh, Brandon, AK guy. You know, you're looking for. Um, I don't know what I could do for you, but I'd like to work for you. <laughs> hey. And there's like, go go go. Yeah, you know, I have <laughs> no marketable skills whatsoever but i should totally work for you you know so <laughs> but no but do? getting but, but 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 in all seriousness and like like hanging out and everything because it was one of those things too whenever we did our first like little video together it wasn't little i mean we did the barrett m82 video together yeah right? which was which is rad like they, i that that was my first barrett wait a minute hold on time out did i know that did we know that that was your first oh, barrett did you know that we popped mm -hmm. your barrett cherry well, not the first Barrett I shot, but like no, no, that was no, my but, first but Barrett like that I owned. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. You still have it? Yeah. God, yeah. Oh, I no, I didn't like just so if you right didn't, I was like, I was like, I'm <laughs> cutting off this cup, but we're <laughs> done. <laughs> like, Fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I still, yeah, it's, it's, it's still like floating around the shop somewhere. Oh. Actually, I think that might be at my house at the moment. Mm. Oh, but. so it's one that you care about. No, actually, I, I care about all my parents. Mm. <laughs> Actually, I, I got the to many, I got to see uh, Chris and Ronnie Barrett for the first time, like uh, this shot show, which oh, is really, really? rad. Because I, mm. I have I have the utmost respect for uh, for Ronnie Barrett, like everything that he did, like that mm. is, and then that's what I was saying earlier, like AK fifty stuff, like just yeah. the development and whatnot. Like you you just start having so much respect for people like that that did that, mm. uh, especially before like CAD and CAM software is where it is today. Like mm. that is an, a, an absurd amount of intelligence that goes right. behind that mm -hmm. and like creativity and everything. Like I, I just, I cannot overstate the amount of respect that I have for, for guys like that. It's mm -hmm. fucking rad. Well, one thing I, I really appreciated you when we were out there at, um, um, I think it was black rifles, uh, black rifle coffees range. We were out there yeah, when we, yeah, when we shot at, the uh, made it too. uh, down in San Antonio. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And we, we were out there and then, you know, I saw you doing your video on the M82. Um, and you, you, you brought it, you like kind of like broke it down and you thought really methodically about it, and you said, you know, hey, here's how the how the short recoil operation works. Can you see these like recoil springs here? They have a job to do. Here's how that works. Here's how the bolt carrier works. Here's how it, and, you know, and, and I, t I I was watching live, right? Like I was there physically watching what was happening. I was like, oh shit, this is cool. Like I like I know that how the, all this works. Like I shot a shit ton of these. But I was breaking it down for the first time because I had, I had never broken one down fully before. Really? So that was, dude. I was I was watching that live, literally, like, oh, so that's what that does. Oh, this is really fucking neat. Oh, yeah, so well, so because that that's was that, so, no. So hmm. here's a really cool thing about that because you you fooled me. I'll be honest with you, because um, uh, when I saw You're you good at that. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, when I saw you t start to take away to, uh, take apart the bolt and the bolt carrier and everything, and you said, well, it must do this, it must do that, it must do this, and I'm like, is this his first time taking this apart? Because He's saying it must do this, it must do that. But the way he's starting to disorienting or to like dismantle this thing and then put it back together, I was like, he seems like he knows what the hell he's doing. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, you know what? He does manufactured firearms. <laughs> Never assume I know what the fuck I'm doing. I didn't uh, assume. <laughs> Believe me, I went in there and I'm like, this dude's taking this thing apart. I don't know. The fu I, all I know is he's wearing flip flops and I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> He had the power like, of the internet and got it in his hands. Yeah, <laughs> right. I, I I knew the basics and like I, I but I, I think that I, I don't want to misspeak, but I, I believe that was probably the first time I fully like took one apart and like yeah. actually saw the internals. Like I've I'd seen it in cam and or excuse me in CAD and, and whatnot from like other you know different sources, but like I like pulling it apart and actually seeing like oh so this is how that interacts with that. That's like super fucking neat. This is really clever. Like, yeah. okay, gotcha. Like, so, like, the, the short recoil operation where, like, the barrel reciprocates, unlocks the bolt. Like, mm -hmm. the, like oh, okay. Like, I see it. This is really cool. Like, I, I, I appreciate that, especially for, for something being done in the 80s. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. With, yeah. with before CAD software, I cannot overstate how much of a different world that was. Like, before, yeah. like, this was drafting mm -hmm. times. Like, that, that blows my mind. I have, I have, I have a shitload of respect for for guys like Ronnie Barrett, like that 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 
whatever I have, I, I'm an idiot on the internet. Like that's where I make my money, whatever we do the AK 50 project. Like that, that's, that's a side project thing. Like to be able to do that is uh, that that's a real skill. And, and I, I, I appreciate that. And then to push those designs further with like the <clears throat> M82 A2, which I know I've, I've seen a video mm -hmm. um, you guys, yeah, you posted one on, and we've tried to. Um, <laughs> yeah. We we had one on our hands. Did you? Yeah. Whoa. We, okay. Whoa. 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 This is the first time I've heard of this. Okay. Yeah. You had an M eighty two A two that you had access to. We had. We almost had it. It was real close. It was really close. Were you bidding on it? No, it wasn't. <laughs> okay, I was gonna, I was gonna say because like, no, uh, uh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a little bit closer. It was a, it was a friend um, who was who had one in their possession. Because because I know there's only twenty that exist. That is one thing that I've I've been told multiple times. Well, let's just say the uh, state of North Carolina is very military friendly. So I've heard, <laughs> um, <laughs> as someone who grew up there, oh, which is funny because all of us grew up in North Carolina. Yeah, that is funny because yeah, because yeah, you're from Fayetteville. Unfortunately, yeah. If it there was, yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. I, I was it's born kind of and a raised. Shit hole. <laughs> um, it, no, it's not kind of a shithole. It's a fucking shithole. Yeah, well, I mean, there's there's that. But hey, you know what? It produced an individual like yourself. That's not a compliment. Yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're on the same page. Yeah, um, uh, I am from Charlotte, North Carolina. I born and raised in Charlotte, mm -hmm. right? Or right outside Charlotte is where I was raised, but mm -hmm. and you were outside I'm of Burlington. Born and raised in Burlington, North Carolina. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Look like at those mm -hmm. little, little, little NC boys over here hanging yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Funny. It, it takes like fucking Las Vegas shot show to get us all to you know hang out with each other. <laughs> <laughs> We're born within a fucking two hour drive of each other. I know, right? Oh yeah. man. So so here's the and funny we hang thing. Out in San Antonio. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh yeah. Of course. Yeah. Know. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the funny thing. We've already been talking for about what forty minutes, twenty, thirty, whatever the fuck it is. Um, again, it's three twenty-four in the morning. Who, who gives a shit? So, but I want to ask you some things, man. Because oh, oh yeah, dude, get ready. You're about to answer some questions. They're going to be hard. Be, yeah, take that swig of uh, that apple juice, uh, the classic firearms reserve. And uh, here's here's where we're going to go with this. <clears throat> All right, you ready? Ready. What got you into guns? I'd like to say like just being a dude mm. got me into guns, but my dad really did. Like yeah, yeah he was he was. You know, kind of one of those uh, where, you know, he'd say, hey, this is, like, really cool, son. Like, come check this out or whatever. we go out to, like, some property that, that he had access to, and we'd go out and just shoot a little bit when I was, I don't know, like, third grade. Yeah. And I, I've told this story before where I thought, like, I didn't, I, I'm fully admitting to being, like, a fucking moron third grader, right? <laughs> Shooting, like, a, an AK for the first time. Like, knowing as an adult now, like, okay, that, that was an AK. But telling all my friends at school, like, I got to shoot a German machine gun. <laughs> and this is what I said. Like, ah, oh, so cool. Like, I got to shoot a German machine gun. But, uh, yeah, no, like, I, I, I kind of, like, grew up around it. And uh, the, obviously, like, it kind of evolves as the years years go on. Like, I remember trying to build AKs in my garage when I was, like, 16 or whatever. Because, like, my, my dad allowed me, like, because he knew I was, like, more, like, I guess, mechanically inclined. Cause like I'm I'm not into like as much of the tactical stuff of, yeah. of the the gun world as, as a lot yeah. of folks are. Like I'm I'm more of like a history nerd and a mechanical nerd. Like right. that's just kind of like what gets me out of bed in the morning. Like like you want to do like a fucking tactical training class? I'm like, no, I really don't care. Do you want to go see this obscure like 1920s fucking like direct blowback fucking 20 millimeter Orlikin? I'm like, yes, yes, I would love to fucking check that out. That sounds great. Right. That explains the Makarov. Yeah, the range. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, just like different. Like I'm, 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 I, I love the mechanical side of that. Like that's just like, like that that excites me. So like he he would just uh, like I remember being like middle school. He just he 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 reminisces on this now like fondly like allowing me to like take like an AK back to my room and just like hearing me like just disassemble it, reassemble right. it, do whatever like mm -hmm. over and over again, just like you know running all that, like just letting the fucking cogs turn. And yeah, he had no idea it would turn into this, but. <laughs> Dude, well, I, I think that's so cool, man, because it was my father that got me into guns too. That's fucking rad, yeah. man. And, um, and it, it, he got me into guns um, actually for like a more like safety reason. My oldest yeah. brother, I never got to meet. Um, uh, he was actually killed as an infant because of, a, ne of a negligent discharge. Fuck me, dude. Yeah. And, uh, and that's something that, you know, my dad... And his wife at the time, they could never agree 
on firearms at that point. She took a really hard stance that guns just shouldn't even exist, right? Get, get them out of my house. Right. Which, you know, honestly, after witnessing and being, being associated with a tragic event like that, yeah, I, I have a hard time faulting her for that. My dad took a very different approach to it. He said every, every other child, because he also had another son at the time. It, uh, um, it, it, are, is it okay to ask like mm-hmm. what, what the details of that were? Like, what, yeah, like yeah. You said and negligent discharge. Yeah, I, I'll actually explain that here in just, here in just a moment. But, um, a, year, but, a, but about a couple years later, he had another son. And he made pretty much an oath to himself that every child he ever comes across it doesn't matter if it's a friend. It doesn't matter if it's, he's, he's a son or a daughter, a family. What doesn't matter. Hey, do you know firearm safety? Like just, you know, well, they're, they're pretty prevalent. You know, we're, we live in this country where they're here. Where they're, they're here. Yeah. Whether you like it or not, they're yeah. around. Right. Mm-hmm. And, um, and he took a really hardcore stance on if at any point in your life, I don't care what age you are, you, you form a sentence and you say, I want to hold a gun or I want to see that he's going to say, okay, but I'm going to teach you the inner workings of it. And he made me, uh, and every other, you know, child that he had and all my siblings, right. I'm pretty much saying the moment you can field strip a firearm and you, and you know, the functions of the firearm, you can take it outside in the yard and we can shoot it. Right. And we lived in, we lived in the County, so we could go out and do that type of stuff. Right. So that was, that was super cool. You know, my dad took that type of stance on it and everything. And I was seven years old when I fired an M1 carbine for the first time. And that was what I, that was the first rifle I ever shot. And I'm, and I'm very proud to say that, you know, when he died, I got that, that that's my rifle. That's my gun. I got the first shotgun, the first pistol and the first rifle I ever shot. It was a Remington 870 Wingmaster, the first shotgun I ever shot when I was, you know, about, I think a nine or 10. Mm -hmm. Val put me on my ass. <laughs> um, uh, the first rifle I ever shot, I was seven years old with a 30, 30 carbine and one carbine underwood. And the first pistol I ever shot is a little bit older. is a Colt 1911 Series 70, 45 ACP, motherfucking thing, right? Yeah. And, uh, and it's cool. Two World Wars. Two World, two two World, World Wars. That's right, you know? Yeah. And uh, so that's why I asked you that because I wanted to see what like kind of got you into it because I knew yeah. what got me into it and it was my father also. That's which, a, that's a very compelling story too. Yeah, like and and so so the the story behind what happened, right? Yeah. Um, my oldest brother, um, uh, Stephen Young Morgan Jr., uh, who obviously isn't with us today and everything, he was less than a year old, and he it was one of these things where it was like, I don't know truly what happened all i know was that somehow in the hands of a neighbor or a friend got placed a small pistol and the neighbor thought it was a toy he had no other he had no idea like that neighbor he, like how old neighbor like like adult neighbor adult, i okay. an adult got yeah it. an adult my dad had his first son you know when he was uh 17 i think so we're talking young teens or, right. you know, older teens, you know, early I 20s. I can't even imagine having like a child at like 17 nowadays. Like that's yeah. absurd. And, that, and, that, and that's, what, that's what happened with yeah. my father. And he was one of my best friends. Dude. Yeah. And, um, and so, you know, um, Spike is what they called him, uh, a little nickname. He was less than a year old. Um, he somehow gets a hold of this firearm and he hands it actually like, like gives it to the neighbor or the friend and he thought it was a toy. And he actually, you know, aims it at the child's head and pulls the trigger. And that's what ultimately ended my oldest brother's life. And uh, my father, my father being 17 or 18 years of old age is carrying, you know, his only son at that point in time, his, his, that body to the hospital. Right. And my father took a really hardcore stance that said, you should not ever sacrifice your rights because of situations like this you should teach and educate and inform and like i said Mm. you know i never got to meet my oldest brother but i did get to meet all my other siblings who are all very pro-gun so was my father right and he took that stance he made sure that every other kid that came in like dude i went to a high school that that story makes me physically uncomfortable yeah yeah and and that's what i grew up with man fuck dude like yeah, that, that that's that's kind of what I like. I, I hope to accomplish with like series like Darwin Awards, for example. Mm-hmm. Like, 
It's like, you know, we're, we're not willing to sacrifice guns right. for, for fucking anything for a no. lot of reasons. And, and, and no shouldn't. matter, even if we did, like, their their guns are going to be here in this country no matter what. Right. But, like, you, you hope to use stuff like, you know, for example, like my, my Darwin Awards videos, like, the, one of the goals of that, aside from entertainment, is, like, I, I want to be able to show, like, this is shit you should never fucking do. Right. Like, mm -hmm. the, the even a toy, like, I, I cannot tell you the amount of physical discomfort I would get from lining up the iron sights of a Nerf gun yeah. at an infant child. Right. Mm -hmm. yep. To me, that, that, that would make my skin crawl. And it's, those are the those are the sorts of you know just instincts that you need to dis, just instill in people. Yeah, yeah. and then we, and then and then we walk into um, uh, shot show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, well, <laughs> and, sure. yeah, and, you know, and, and here we are, and I and I want to look down the sights of a brand new optic, like Hollow Sun released this year, the night vision optic, mm -hmm. and, all, and 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 the thermal optic. And what do I do? The first thing I do, and granted, knowing my history, knowing what I've learned, and everything else, the thermal optic. What do I want to do? Look at people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but well, uh, to be to be fair, at shot show and whatnot, it's like a lot of times it's just like bedded stocks and shit, yeah, like with yeah. an optic, yeah, no yeah. barrel, no receiver, right. no nothing, right. like literally, like, like like this was just an optic in my hand. You you'd know, have to perform mounted. witchcraft to make this gun fire, like right. it's not gonna right. happen. But but here's the thing, and, and something I kind of want to talk about. And again, you know, it was your father that got you into it. It was my father that got me into it. Even after he went through such a traumatic experience, he went and took that stance. I can only fucking imagine. I, I can't too. Mm -hmm. Like, it, on a, I don't have any kids of my own. But when I think about that, and even right now, like, as I'm talking to you right now, I, I can feel it like in my feet. Yeah. Right? Like, like as, if I put myself in my father's shoes when he was 17, 18 years old, and to know that, you know, you just had this baby and it, dude, like it, it's, it's a lot, man. And I think yeah, the reason I'm heavy. able to, I'm able to like, um, talk about it so well is because I grew up with it. Yeah. That's something I knew every year around December. That was, that was my, you know, oldest brother's birthday. You know, my father would be a little bit, um, a little bit more sad, I guess you could say. Right. And I would always know, you know, like, oh, well, this is, this is around Spike's birthday, you know. Okay. And he never once neglected firearms to the point where he was like, we shouldn't have these. He was the yeah. man that said, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest, I mean, he's, he's no longer with us now, so it's not like he, they can incarcerate him. But he's the same man that said, yeah, I got a full auto M14. <laughs> and, uh, and, he's and like, I won't ask what happened to it. <laughs> um, I, I inherited a lot of things. That was not one of them. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, so put put it that way. And but you know, he said, you know, he said he had, he eventually got rid of it because he was scared of owning it. Yeah, I don't know how true that was. Uh, but also, he was the same guy that said we may have stolen a couple of grenades out of Fort Bragg. And I'm like, it's not the first time. Like as somebody who grew up on Fort <laughs> yeah, Bragg, yeah. you heard of a lot of shit like getting the five finger discount, like, right? You know, you know? Yeah. And uh, and so what did they want to do to get rid of these um, uh, grenades that they may or may not have acquired? They took them out to Lake Wiley in Charlotte and said, "Let's just drop them in the water." It's not like they could put out that big of a concussive force, right? Mm -hmm. It's weird how he also got a new car around that time. You know? <laughs> <laughs> surprising. Right? I'm gonna you grab know? some more beers. You want? Yeah, you want some? yeah. You know what, okay. dude? Let, let's let's take a quick little break and let's do that. So Ryan, I mean, we obviously heard a little bit of um, my story. Um, we know it got Brandon in the mm -hmm. firearms, dude. I mean, sorry. Right, so let me let me tell you guys about a little bit about Ryan over here, right? Not only does this man shoot pixels, he shoots bullets too. All right, and do you? No, dude. I love firearms. I thought you were anti-gun. I know it's no, so surprising. Weird. I know, so especially strange. from you know when I talk about yeah. Anyways, All right. <laughs> so what, dude? I, I know we've talked about this before, but I mean, how many other people are going to listen to a podcast with Brandon Herrera? Probably not many. But tell us. No, hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> what got you into guns, bro? What got me into guns? Uh, same thing. I think. Our, yeah, our dads yeah. Uh, got all of us into guns. Same Weird. Thing with me. It's like all the people here at SHOT Show that are uh, successful have had strong male figures in our lives. Huh. Is that? Yeah. Does that? Uh, does surprising? that translate? Right? Yeah. Is you that, know what? That, that sounds like a yeah. pattern. We should ignore it. Anyway, moving yeah. on. Anyways, no, no. Not correlated <laughs> whatsoever. Um, not causation. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, no, no. My dad was big into firearms. If you're uh, triggered by that comment. You're the problem. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll yeah. say it. You won't yeah. say it. I'll finish your sentence. Yes. No, exactly. I mean, we're all, you, know, you might we, want to do some soul searching. Yeah. Well, just a tad. <laughs> right. So my dad was really big into firearms. Yeah. And um, he wanted 
to instill that in me uh, from a very young age. So yeah. he was always trying to push. Like it was on my birthday. He was like, he was like, hey, you want to go to the gun range and like possibly shoot something and like maybe you know we can we can uh, get some of your own and then you can get into it. And I was like, it, I mean, from a young age, I was like, oh, okay, and kind of interested in it. Right. But it was. Yeah, you know, when I got into like teenage years, when I was like, okay, I kind of want to really get into this. Um, started with a, um, I think it was a high ordinance uh, Tommy gun. You know, like nice. a six. All right, <laughs> like, you know? I mean, come on. Yeah, no, it's he kind of like starting with a Mercedes for your DMV <laughs> course. Like that sets. <laughs> pretty neat yeah yeah it was I, I i don't think it was a high orange but it was it was one of those um it was basically a replica version of a tommy gun 16 inch um, oh no so, it was one of those off-brand tommy guns yeah, Never yeah. Mind. i'm not <laughs> no, interested no. anymore it wasn't a machine gun you know, you know we're not going that far. like like johnny depp who grew up with the tommy guns and the machine guns and everything else you know yeah 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 it, that wasn't you dude no no mm -mm. oh man what, you I missed mean, out bro i know so <laughs> sorry yeah over here with the anyways <laughs> <laughs> no, and I think that's that's a major point of all of our stories is that there's strong male figures that <clears throat> within us that kind of instilled a firearms love, you know. Yeah. And I think they probably also born. instilled some other things in us that were, you know, very helpful in, you know, developing into mm -hmm. fully grown adult responsible men. Well, you know, for the most part, I, yeah, I don't yeah. want to. Well, okay, no, the responsible mm -hmm. part, like I, I won't like project mm -hmm. too far. We're, we're probably all a little fucked up. But, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's only because the ATF exists. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, that was uh, that was the not so subtle transition. <laughs> <laughs> so we're we gonna we gonna talk right. about that. Is that what we're gonna talk about? I mean, we we can if you want to, but I, I before you transition to, to that bullshit. I mean, yeah, I'm, uh, what, the Bridge podcast mm -hmm. with uh, Travis Haley yes. and Grantham, mm -hmm. right? So Mike had a really good conversation, and he, and you, you could tell that he was kind of, I, I think at least, I took mm -hmm. it as he was hesitant to talk about this. And then he said he believes that there's actually a war um, being um, committed, I guess you could say, against mm -hmm. family. Mm -hmm. And so for you guys to say this, you know, I think that speaks volumes, mm -hmm. right? Because here we are just, a, a couple of dudes that just like guns and shit yeah. and yeah. have similar mindsets and everything. And we literally met at a, at a shooting competition and I saw this guy run around with flip flops and a macrov, and I was like, "That guy fucks, right?" Combat, like, <laughs> combat flip flops. Combat flat yeah. flip flops. You I've know, got them in my bag. I keep them in the side of my uh, my fucking like mystery ranch backpack. The AK forty sevens. Love it. The combat mm -hmm. flip flops, yep. dude. I love them, man. They, they they make great shit, and they donate a lot of the money too, and everything, which is super cool. And you know, it's it's really cool to kind of like just come across. It, it, going back to what I said before, like never meet your heroes type mm -hmm. of thing, you know. And what's really cool about this community is we all. Are, we are all so like like-minded mm -hmm. when you meet each other you're like oh shit i could have been friends with you like a fucking decade ago mm -hmm. yeah and we would have been exactly where we are right now and that and i think that's something really cool like um uh like you know every now and then like when i think about like when i first met alexandra Mm -hmm. I thought, oh, this is going to be some stuck up woman, you know? And then she's like, she is the, she's remarkably cool dude, in person. Exactly. Like, yeah. She's super chill. I, and we had her on the podcast before and, and I said the exact same thing. And her first words to me, what's up loser? Except the word wasn't loser. It was something a lot more. I know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I may and, or may not have been there for that, right, but I know then, like then, what dude, I know what the word was. Yeah, right, exactly, dude. And yeah. she's like, she's like, I know you. It's like, what's up, loser? And uh, it wasn't loser. And then even today, as we're walking through the you know fucking Venetian, mm -hmm. um, her fiance Brian. Yeah, this dude comes out of nowhere and about tackles. One of my me favorite to, people. He's very fun. You know, here's the thing about Brian. When I first saw this guy at the uh, Gundy's last year. I thought this is a big jack tatted dude that's just gonna like be pissed off that anybody's talking to his girl. And, and what I was part of that is wrong. And every single part of that is wrong. <laughs> when I what, first, what you, every single part of that's wrong. Oh, okay. No, I'm sorry. No. Like all of that is correct. No. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean he's still like, one of my favorite people. I, dude, I really no, enjoy the shit I'm out of him. Say. His but, motive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying is yeah. motive. He's still a big tatted dude. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. And he still might be pissed off about, you know, talking to Alex. But this dude out of nowhere just comes up and he about tackles me to the ground. And he's just like, bro, I've been trying to fucking find you over here all the all day. And 
here you are just walking through the Venetian as if you don't see me. And I'm like, you were literally sitting in a restaurant. I didn't see mm-hmm. you come out. I, dude, I didn't even see you almost tackle me. Like, obviously, my observation skills are shit, you know. And uh, But he's one of the most, like, kind and lovable people I've ever met in my life. That he's the, like, epitome of not judging a book by its cover. Yes. Exactly. He's such mm-hmm. a fucking teddy bear. I love that yes. guy to death. Yeah. Absolutely, man. But like, but, but back to what you were saying about like uh, the the family and whatnot, like yeah. just like the the war the war on the family. Like it, it's 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 funny that you bring that up because that is to me a much bigger issue than anything we've talked about so far. You're absolutely right, dude. Like that is um, like you, you could talk all the shit that you want on the ATF about YouTube. Like trust me, we I'm sure we have we have our fucking complaints about Google and course. how they run things. Yeah. And mm-hmm. of course. But all of this stems from the same shit. Mm-hmm. It's like the, just the the, uh, the the war on the family. Like that is yeah. that is, and it, it's not even a religious thing because like no. a lot of people try to make it a religious thing. It's really not. It's really mm-hmm. not. This is just basic psychological, you know, developmental shit. Like this is as basic as it comes, and it's really really sad to see that that's deteriorating. Mm-hmm. It it, it really is. is. Um, uh, you know. You know, love him or hate him, uh, Reagan did say one thing that was that kind of resonates. And, um, you know, obviously, 1986, Gun Control Act, not a fan. But I will say... No, not really. No, not not Mm -hmm. at all. No. You know, so that's kind of bullshit. But I will say there was one thing that he said, you know, true change starts at the dinner table. Yes. And it's honestly, we can look at this as kind of like, you know, the dinner table that we're welcoming. How many, how, uh, how many ever, you know... Tens of people might watch this, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, and it's like, it's dude, good that you're still here. Yeah. yeah. And if you're still here listening to this, you know, God bless you. Uh, we, we uh, if, you, if you're still yeah. here, this, we, this is, as, uh, this is about as close as it gets to having honest conversation with us. Honestly, like, genuinely, like no. this is genuinely, this yeah. feels like us just sitting around. A table yeah, and like uh, dude. And, and that's something that, again, I absolutely love about us. Right. Mm-hmm. So Ryan and I, we had no idea who each other were before classic. Right. And, um, uh, we met, and we butt heads, you know, pretty often and everything. And I consider ourselves like brothers, right? And pretty often. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like, every now and then he's like, he's like, I will hold a knife to his like, throat at so night. Stupid. And then I'll think about it. And I'm like, prison seems worse. I don't want to go back to a real job. <laughs> Fuck, All right. Sometimes I, we come in the suite. I got to lock the door. Only one person comes out. I mean, that's what comes out <laughs> that, that, That's it, you know. But no, but in all seriousness, though, I mean, the, what you guys are hearing right now on this podcast, what you might be listening to on the CF Podcast YouTube channel, whatever the hell, wherever you might be listening to this, um, what you're hearing right now from myself, Ryan, and Brandon, I, kn- I know these guys pretty well. And some of you have met me, and some of you have met Ryan, and some of you have met Brandon. And what you are hearing right now is legitimately us just having a good time at almost four fucking clock in the morning. Fuck me. <laughs> I don't like you giving updates. I honestly like <laughs> want you to say it's stressing like, me out. Exactly. <laughs> just say it's like ten a.m. Right, and just be like, we just woke up. We're having a great day. Like just. Paint a picture for me. Like, <laughs> first of all, if it's 10 a.m. and we got a couple of beer bottles and, and the whiskey sitting on the table. Shot show. It's, uh, I was say, uh, are we surprised? It's are we, not uh, really. Are we, it's not that weird. So we're uh, having brunch should, tomorrow, right? Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You no, know, but dude, but this is the coolest thing about it, though. Is you know, like, I, like again, I'm going to say, you mm-hmm. know, don't meet your heroes, but the, in this industry. You meet these guys and they have the exact same mindset as you. We don't want to be fucked with. We want to be left alone. We want to be independent. We want to make a successful country. And we want to be an asset and not a liability to this community exactly. that we love. Because mm-hmm. to, to a certain degree, like gun ownership is about personal responsibility. Because you are yes, literally yes. taking, like by being a gun owner that carries a gun, you are taking personal responsibility for your own protection. And that speaks volumes about your character. And yeah. even more so for other people. Yes. Too. Yeah. And yeah. that's something I don't think a lot of people hit on is, is not just helping yourself. This isn't a thing. And, and some people, like, I mean, depending on your personality, you may feel as though that they're looking for some kind of, um, some kind of gratification. Vigilantism. And exactly. Like kind of vigilantism. But I, mean, I mean, to a certain mm-hmm. degree, it's like protecting you and yours. Like, like yes. you, you like not only just you, but your wife, your kids, your family, your property, like the, the things that like that this is your domain as a, a you know, traditional man like this is the shit that you are responsible for protecting and if your 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 protection plan is calling 911 you're a loser as Zedra would say yeah yeah, um, yeah. yeah. as, as <laughs> no, Zedra would say exactly. yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> perhaps expletive <laughs> <laughs> you know but no you're a you, fucking loser yeah. <laughs> you know yeah 
dude, you're absolutely right, man. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and you know, what's really funny about this podcast was yeah. I actually planned on getting Brandon in here and was like, hey, dude, what was like the, like the first video that you did that you absolutely loved? Uh, what was that? What made you get into this here? And here we are almost like, how many, how long are we into this? And oh, it's, dude, yeah. we haven't even gotten into like three Mandelos, God knows how many fucking. You know, Woodford, excuse me. <laughs> no, what? Wolf, wait, wait, wait. Wolf, wait, wait, wait. Wolf, wait, wait. Classic yeah, Firearms Beer. We got Classic Firearms Beer, and we got Wolf on the table it's here. It's Classic Firearms Reserve. Juice. Yeah, Classic yeah. Firearms Reserve. Juice. I like juice, juice and Apple Reserve. Juice, reserve. Yeah. juice right, Reserve. Right, right, <laughs> dude. But, but, you know, this is the coolest thing about it. You know, we, we get out here, we start having these conversations, and they go absolutely wherever we decide they will go in a direction that we that it's up to us right and it's so fucking cool man and it's just really neat to meet to meet you and you know and become your friend after so many a couple of years and everything and here we are right and here we are so with that being said it's like the paul rudd oh <laughs> look at us oh, <laughs> who, who, who would have guessed who <laughs> not me <laughs> 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 so so with all that being said what was the first youtube video you ever put out oh my god <laughs> So can I, I can I tell you something not a lot of people know about? I mean, so here's the thing: you can tell me and Ryan, but you're also telling everybody else listening. I'm just gonna pretend I'm telling you guys because yeah, yeah. that makes just, me feel way more comfortable. Okay, you know what? Yeah. I've been doing YouTube since like 2006. Oh, really? So yeah, I've been doing YouTube for a long time. So I, I used to have a an airsoft channel that I started with a buddy of mine in middle school. Airsoft. Yeah. Ooh. In middle school. Yep, and that, that was where I got my first sponsorship deal. We got sponsored by an airsoft company uh, that I thought it was a big deal. Like, they sent out a $40 fucking, like, spring-powered pistol. This is so oh, fucking yeah. crazy. Um, I, I did that. I grew that channel to, like, a few thousand and yeah. then deleted it because I found out girls are awesome. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> so I deleted that. I'm like, man, fucking YouTube. That's for losers, man. Like, yeah. nobody's ever going to make money on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> hop in the backseat. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. yeah. I started another channel. I uh, did that with guns like while I was a teenager. Deleted that one too because then I just, you know, I got bored and I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed by it. Like that's, mm -hmm. you know, you, oh, man. Th that was back in the day that like you, YouTube wasn't cool. Like YouTube mm -hmm. today is like that is the cool thing everybody wants to fucking do. Right. Back when I was doing it, like that was an embarrassing side project you fucking nerdy dudes did. Mm hmm. And so I've been doing this for a long fucking time. And uh, it's really weird to see the transition. Like, YouTube is now, like, the TV of this new generation. Yeah, it really is. That is not the way it started. Like, if, if anybody remembers, like, fucking 2006, 2007, like, that, that is not what YouTube was. That was some nerdy shit you did not brag to your parents about. <laughs> no. And, and if you did bring up YouTube, they'd say, okay, so what's your real job? Right. That's a side thing that you're doing, but right. what is your real job? Yeah, I don't know, mom. I pay my camera guy more than you. Like, like it's, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Like, <laughs> exactly. yeah, it's, it's shit like that. Like, it's, it, it's yeah. The the older generation, like, really, they're starting to get it. I think, uh, but like, it's things are starting to shift to where, you know, there there is. The older generation is accepting the uh, the the shift of the economy. I, I believe, like, in that direction makes sense because like it was very hard to explain like why you know like for example i dropped out of law school oh really mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. To, to do the gun thing and like i remember thinking like i remember explaining this like just like talking conversationally with like my parents back in the day like yeah look like with all these sponsorship deals and you know ad revenue like i thought i knew how it worked like, dude, this FPS Russia guy, the, the, like the pinnacle of everything that like has ever been for GunTube at that point. Yes. He's at least making like, I don't know, $100,000 a year doing this. Now watch this door <laughs> yeah, fly like, by <laughs> his face and barely not kill him. And, and now I look back and I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. Like, <laughs> like $100,000 a year. Okay, yeah, sure. Sure, kid. <laughs> yeah. And it's just, it's kind of funny to see like that scale like you, like people have no idea how much money there is behind some of this stuff like if you get well that was actually like that was before the ad apocalypse and all that oh, stuff too. yeah it's true yeah so that was that was gonna be something I was gonna ask actually because you know you've obviously been in the YouTube game for a while I was gonna say like you know and and as I mentioned before you know don't meet your heroes right but in this industry 
you meet your heroes and all of a sudden you're like, dude, I'm so glad this is somebody I'm lo I look up to. Yeah. Right. And it's really fucking cool. Like I think about like, you know, Larry Vickers, I think about mm -hmm. Kyle lamb, you know, these guys that I actually, now I, I fucking text message on a daily basis. How it's wild, right? how mm -hmm. blessed am I dude? Oh my God. We get to co-host a podcast with Larry Vickers. This dude, Mind blowing. It's, you get to text your heroes now and it's very weird. It's, it's, and for everybody listening, you know, I, this is one of the wildest things to me is when people approach me at NRA annual meet at SHOT Show out on the street. I was literally walking my dog one day and somebody said, hey, are you Clint from Classic Firearms? And I'm like, maybe. <laughs> like, is this good or bad? Yeah, yeah it depends <laughs> like, on where this conversation goes. Are you like, going to John Lennon me in the parking lot? <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> Like, are you disgruntled about an about an order that went wrong? You know, and, was, and this dude just like you know he's he's just going out on his daily morning run, and he's just like, like, dude, no way! Like, a huge fan. Keep up with what you're doing, and that right there, I, I he turns around and keeps running, and I and I walk my dog, and I'm like, well, did I really deserve that? Like this dude out of nowhere. Yeah, you can't. Well, yeah, you, know, you can't go yeah. down that ra rabbit dude, hole mentally. I like, I know, man. Like, it's hard though. It's really yeah, a difficult. It, it's really a difficult thing. Like we go to these he, different. It is to spend his time. Right? Yeah, and he, right. He watched his video. Uh, yeah. he, he watched your video, and right. he saw you there. So yeah, that is such a yeah. oh, you got to be careful with that though. Like, I, that's I know, a very dude, toxic like, believe, mentality. It, like, and well, see, the, well, this is why I'm in therapy, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so I mean, like, 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 let's be honest. Like, I don't mean to put like my personal shit out there or anything, but yeah, I am going to a therapy. Fuck it, we're 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 going we're we're going there now. Like that yeah. that's this is what we're doing because like yeah. I'll I'll be honest with you. I I'll like I'll move the microphone closer. Like, no. all right, we're doing <laughs> yeah. this. Yeah, let's go. Like, Here dude, fuck. Like, people don't understand. Like. Uh, I, I got to choose my words, words carefully. Well, we have me, an editor. So. Me and me and Cody call it like Cody Donut. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We mm -hmm. call it the creator mm -hmm. sads, mm. like jokingly. Interesting, because like yeah. you go through like you really go through periods of like ups and downs and whatever, and you realize like ah fuck, it's like everybody goes through this, mm -hmm. where you you have nothing to complain about. Like we, we you and I, are in a very fucking like fortunate position. Like we we are we are like this is a dream job for a lot of fucking people. They're like, dude, you get fucking free guns. You get to hang out with all those people. Go to shot yeah. show, blah, blah blah. We're living the dream, right? That it, it, it comes in ups and downs, man. Because like you feel like like all the all the depressing shit that you deal with, you can't complain about. You don't feel like you can complain about shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. if you ever try to, like, half the fucking problems you have, if you try to relate to normal people about them, it sounds like you're bragging. Yeah. And that's fucking depressing. Yeah. Especially when it <laughs> literally, like, affects your everyday life. Every single minute of it. When we say we're about to lose our YouTube channel because we have two strikes and we've built it to 1.2 million subscribers... Right, um, uh, some people say, "Oh, well, at least you have a YouTube channel," and yeah. it's like, "But, dude, I have put in. We, as a gr collective group, as a company, have put in literal blood. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, we've bled. Dude. Oh, yeah. We oh. have straight up bled. Like we've done some stupid shit. All right, for, but it's for the gram. You exactly. know what I'm saying? We, all we, of us we, have at some yeah. point yeah. or another. Bled, mm -hmm. uh, sweat. Holy shit. Wow, dude. lots of sweat. Uh, dude, fucking tears. I mean, bro, there's like, been times where I'm... I'm. You're talking about the deletion of thousands of man hours. Yeah. Thousands. Mm -hmm. it, it just just like that. Because because I because I what, I attached a suppressor to a fucking SCAR 16. Because which wasn't... Which <laughs> wasn't against the rules two weeks ago. Like right. that... Look, that guys, FN, war FN warned us about this. All right? They said we're not supposed to attach a <laughs> suppressor. <laughs> That is such a right. fucking deep. So, fuck you, right? <laughs> that is such a fucking deep cut. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, dude. But I mean, but let's be let's be real, dude. We're being fucking real. You moved your mic closer. Fuck it, I'll move mine closer too, dude. Let's go. Let's go. And I, it, do, dude, do you, so, do you identify with that? You you get that? Yeah, bro. Yeah. I mean, like, don't don't get me wrong. I didn't start this channel, right? You started yours, 
right? I didn't start this channel. I didn't I, start it with the intention of what it is now. Yeah, no. It, it kind of is what it is. I didn't take it over with the intention of what it is now. You know, like I said, Ben, the general manager who started Classic Firearms, he took this over. He wanted to, All he wanted to do is just make sure he could market the, the shit that he was bringing in, right? And it, and it fucking worked. And then all of a sudden, they were like, hey, you know what? You do a good job at kind of relating with the community. You do a good job at talking to people. If somebody has a problem to order, you're, you're fucking messaging them and saying, like, what's going on, you know? And it's like, how about you just go out there, be in front of the camera for a bit, you know, and just, just do that. Go out there to different shows and everything else. And it's like, you know what, man? That sounds like a dream job to me. That sounds awesome. I'm getting paid to shoot and talk about guns. Absolutely. Let's go do that. Next thing you know, Ryan joins the team. We're going to have a dedicated videographer. And that's what you came on as, right? Well, no, you actually came on. I was on. before Yeah, that. because yeah. you. I was with Ben. Yeah. Um, yeah, when I joined, it was Ben. That was like uh, yeah. on camera talent. He was amazing. But it was just, it's such a shift from what it was, yeah. uh, what it is today um, and for what it was then. It's yeah, it's it's been a long, it's it's been a long roller coaster ride. The the amount of fucking work that goes into producing YouTube videos, people don't understand. Mm -hmm. um, especially like you you the the grind that you guys are on to produce, like roughly a video a day, yeah. blows <laughs> my fucking mind. Blows mine too. Don't, don't 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 get me wrong. It blows mine too. Yeah, and like because <laughs> like, like I, I get like a certain degree of that is like okay yeah you're 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 doing desk content like it, at a certain mm -hmm. point it's like it's a nine to five whatever but still like you're fuck sometimes like when when I'll do like gun meme review or like Darwin Awards or whatever like this is a collective of shit like I've been doing for like a week like just collecting the content writing jokes in my mind whatever the fuck like and then putting it out and sometimes it, it's late and sometimes I won't do it because I don't fucking feel like it mm -hmm. yeah. That because I'm sense. like, man, I don't feel like filming this video right now because I can't be in front of the camera and present myself in the way that I want to. You can't always be on. You can't always just have this perfect persona that you're tr really that you're trying to capture your audience with. People don't get that. Like there, there is a there is a being on. Mm. And if you are, yeah, if you're it, like trying to be always on is a real great way to get burnt out real quick and fucking, you know. Anthony Bourdain yourself in a bath. <laughs> yeah. Like that is not great. And sometimes you're going to have videos where you're going to be like, wow, I, I don't feel like that was as great as it could have been <clears throat> because it wasn't. I mean, we've had those. Where, oh, yeah. where, like, we, we've had I wish those. we would have put more time right. with this. I wish we could have done this. You know, what, you, know, ifs. you know what's funny for me? I'll, I'll ask you guys, see if this is like a shared experience. Sometimes mm -hmm. like I will have those videos where like I feel like I phoned it in. Mm -hmm. And like I've been dreading doing this video for a while. And then, like, I'll, I'll, like, kind of, I feel like I half-ass it a little bit. Yeah. But I know, like, this is a video that's going to do well, whatever. Like, I, I, oh, fuck, I guess I'll, I'll have to do it. Mm -hmm. And then it does fucking fantastic. <laughs> it's like, I hated filming that video. Like, I fucking didn't even want to do that. Yeah. And it's now one of ten. Yep. No, we, yeah. we've definitely had those. Mm -hmm. we, we have. And here's the, here's the funny thing is, I know, if you were to ask me right now, it's probably because it's, I'm not going to say what time it is. Um, Thank uh, you for that. <laughs> I like to keep bringing it just up keep, personally. You know? Just crush yeah. our souls. Yeah, just, just a little bit. But, you know, uh, I'll be honest. I know we've had those videos, like mm -hmm. you and me, bro. Like, we've, yeah. we've had those videos. And, but if you were to ask me right now, like, okay, well, which one was it? I'll be honest. I, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of them where it feels like we put mm -hmm. more time into them, and they could have been massive. Oh, and then my. they actually okay. don't. Those are the ones that and hurt. And, like, for example, even, like, you, not by, just by saying that sentence, you gave me anxiety in real time. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like, something you're so passionate God about. God damn it. Like, because I, I know you're right. And yeah. you pour that into something. Yep. And, and how do you portray that yeah. in video sometimes, you know? And it's not going to come across to the viewer as you pouring your heart and soul into a topic that you were trying to get across, you know, just like the, like for, I'll give you an example, like uh, the video, the most at time of recording, the most recent video we put out was the, the Sten video. Yep. We did a video mm -hmm. on like the Sten Mark two. And we had some issues with it, like dropping into semi auto when it wasn't supposed to, like, it's just cause the sends kind of a piece of shit. Um, unpopular opinion, but it's, 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 it's a little, I mean, that, it's a little shitty. Fair. I mean, there were some um, ones that were pretty good during it's that a 12, time. 12 and a half minutes. <laughs> Sand. There's some shit going on yeah. in the world. Um, <laughs> <laughs> minor that's understatement. Whole, that's a rabbit hole. We're not going to go down there. It, it was I mean, a 12 I mean, and a half minute video that nope. should have been 17 minutes. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. We had five minutes of shit we deleted from that. 
and one of them was me literally getting fucking so frustrated with that stand mm. that I tossed it into a fucking rock hill. Like, I I, <laughs> I chucked it. I chucked it into the side of a fucking hill because I was done with that fucking gun. It was cleared. Like, it was safe. But yes, it, was, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was safe. Just, yeah, you know, it, just, it, it, yeah. For, for those wondering, yeah, it was it was cleared and, like, empty. All, all you internet right. RSOs out there. <laughs> I was so, I was so it's it's my fucking gun. There was yeah. nobody on the range. I just fucking chucked it. <laughs> like, like fuck, I literally like, fuck this fucking gun. But people don't get to see that, yeah. right? Yeah, they don't get to see the shit that doesn't make the cut. Oh yeah, believe me, we, we dude, we we. I mean, God, dude. I mean, Ryan, you would have a better idea than I would. In and I'm the trigger puller. I'm typically the guy in front of the camera over here running the drill over and over and over again. Especially when we have a gun that doesn't fucking work. Mm-hmm. And we just want to make it kind of like look good. I'm not saying here that we're lying about anything whatsoever, but if we're trying to do something like is like a just like a you know just a fun like commercial type thing, just for mm-hmm. us, even, even for like an entertainment value, entertainment thing. value, yeah, yeah. right. Like you're, like you're not even trying to you're not trying to pimp something, right? You're just no, trying dude, to like, I'm not trying to sell something. I'm not trying to promote something, whatever. But every now and then you'll come across something, and it's like, dude, this is really cool. It's a really old gun, and I want it to run, and I'm going to run a cool drill with it, just for fun. And you're like entertaining yourself. You're not even doing it based upon right. what people get, what they're going to see. You're yeah. doing it based upon what you would find interesting and, and what you <laughs> think would come of this and you know, gratification <laughs> you get. And you're trying to do that? <laughs> yeah. And you're like, why did I do this to myself? <laughs> well, this is I, fucking torture. Yeah. You know, and then, and then all of a sudden there's, you got that certain level of mindset like, you know what? I'm committed now. I'm doing it. And you're like, oh, Instant regret. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's happened. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I can't think of, like, a sort of one video that we've put out that, um, that you know, was like that. You know, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's one of those things probably just because also it's like, you know, <laughs> we're going to see the sun start coming up soon. But, <laughs> but I'm, not, I'm not saying we should stop at all because this is a fantastic conversation. But you're absolutely right, man. We've poured, again, our blood, sweat, and tears, our heart and soul into what we do Mm -hmm. you know i mean bro i wasn't a huge shooter like don't get me wrong i've shot guns a majority of my life right i I was always into guns i always wanted to know how they worked and everything else and i I absolutely loved them and then when when we started taking over the channel here at classic it was like dude let's let's fucking let's go do some cool shit and let's let's shoot time and time again you know what dude lighting didn't look good in this drill i'm sorry i know this sucks, but you got to take this 249S and you got to run that drill again. You know, oh, damn it, dude. You got to take that bare 50 cal and you got to do a fucking speed Which is, reload. It's again. funny because it's like the, the, yeah. it's the humble brag. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Like that. this is shit. It's like, oh, you know, it fucking sucks to be you. You got to take the 249 out for another. Right. Like, you yeah. don't understand. Like, this is literally like a fucking job at this point. But, right? oh, well, that's just it. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, you got the dream job. And it's like, I, I want you to understand something. You're still saying the word job. It's still yeah. work at the end of the day, you know, and, and it's really and it's, fun for the first year. It's really, fun. Yeah. you know, Brandon, I, I got to tell you, dude, it's really fun for the first year resonates a lot. It's really fun for the first year. You do that for one year and you're like, I did this for a year. Mm-hmm. Look how much we've grown. Holy shit. I, I can't believe I've had any part to do with what we've done. And then all of a sudden it's like, okay, well, what am I going to do for the next Mm-hmm. I ha- I and have that's to, not I have to, to keep going. detract from the achievement that you get after that. Like, cause right, there, right, there's right. always yeah. more room to grow. Yes. Right. But mm-hmm. dude, like the, the one thing there, I'll, I'll, I'll be that weird, like sappy guy right now. Like, like the, 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 the one song that like Do resonates it. with me is like, I took a pill in Ibiza. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh God. Like that positive. song yeah, fucking right. hits different nowadays. Yeah. It's like, mm-hmm. Jesus fucking Christ. If you actually listen to the, the words of that song, like people, then it resonates with shot show. Like people coming up like, I, Oh, I just want to do what you do. I'm like, you have no idea. No, it's, it's kind of like, you know, <laughs> like, I wish I could warn you. Like, I, yeah. I like, I don't get me wrong. I don't wish that you would never do what I do. But like, yeah. there's a lot that comes with that that you're yeah. not aware of. Yeah. You know, I never thought I would ever say a day in my life that, fuck, we have to go to the range today. Yeah. Like, like, like know you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, like, I never thought those would be words that would ever come out of my mouth that I would just be like, oh, Damn it, another range day? God dang it. And it's like, 
Because that was that was like a treat. Yes, it was like, mm-hmm. oh, I yeah. get to go to fucking range today. This is Hell so yeah. cool. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Drag like, some shit. I've literally walked out the door going, I, I saying out loud, like, I don't want to fucking do this right now. Because <laughs> that, I mean, that breaks up the monotony of your day to day life, right? Yeah. But then when that becomes your day to day life, it becomes the monotony. And wow, it, damn, that was deep, dude. I'm just saying. Saying. Holy shit. <laughs> Got some Willow Smith, Smith uh, tweets here. God, yeah. Yeah. Can, we, can, we, can we take a 10, ten second break? I got to resonate for a moment, all right? <laughs> I'm going to I reflect mean, on that. It is, it is what it is, right? And, yeah. and because of that, you got to like pull within yourself yeah. to, to keep it going. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it's not so much like fun and, and exciting, you know, as much as it was. But that doesn't mean, you, you, honestly, you have to have a reason behind what you're doing. And you know what I think that behind was, just yeah. the like money right. or something like that. That's, no, that's dude, not going to well, keep you going. Let me tell you right now, it's, well, it's, it's kept me going. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Where it's like, ah, I, I actually, yeah. correct. Well, I take umbrage with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. well, let me tell you right now, it's definitely from my end, not yeah. for the money. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and no, but uh, but I but I will say one thing that keeps keeps me going for this is I want this what we do every single day, shooting guns and everything else. I want people to look at this when they pull up YouTube, when they pull up Google or whatever the fuck it is, and they and they search anything firearms related. We've got a video out there, and it's the norm. Mm-hmm. I want what we do every single day. If it's a, it's a it's attached. Hey, how do you mount a dovetail nod to your fucking Wilcox G24? Mm-hmm. I want that to be the norm. I yeah. want how do I how do I actually appropriately wear body armor? Where should that be placed on my body? That should be the, the free norm. distribution of information. That's the what we're supposed to be dude, doing. Exactly. That is literally the purpose of the fucking internet. That yes. is, dude. And you know what? I am somehow blessed to be in a position to where I can provide this type of information. Use it firsthand. Put it in, into like almost a practical application. And dude, right now, I can tell you right now how comfortable it is to wear my AWS gear and all this other shit. My my my, my body armor and everything. And drive it 40 minutes to the range. Yep. And I can say, hey, you know what? I want to switch this up. Here's why I wouldn't go over it with this. Why I'd prefer covert with that. Here's why I wouldn't wear this that way or that And what's that way. based on, though? Dude, uh, my use. It's yeah. based, it's yeah. based How on. How many years of use? Uh, I mean, it just, well, at yeah. this point now, Lit- it just keeps going. I mean, so for three? people who have never worn it before, or never, yeah. never bought it, whatever, like that's, that's useful information that you are freely distributing. Like yeah. That's, that's, that is like. The internet is just like the the whole purpose of it. That was like just massive, uh, just distribution of information. Information, yeah, yeah. That, frankly, I don't think we were ready for. You know, there's a lot of shit that comes with social media that I the, don't the, think that like humankind was never evolved to like experience this. I agree 100%. Everywhere. That's where you get all those like parasocial mm-hmm. relationships and stuff like that. It gets really fucking freaky. Yeah, it was. It was that there's points even to where you you watch enough videos and you feel like you're connected to that person. Yeah. And that makes yeah. complete sense because in everywhere else in your life, if you're having that much engagement with someone, you're going to have a connection with them. Not yeah. even everywhere else in your life. Any other point in human fucking existence. Exactly. We were never prepared to be able to be like, yeah, I've spent hundreds of hours around this person. Without ever being mm-hmm. around them. And then that person's like, I've known you for 13 seconds. Yeah. Who the fuck are you? That has never happened before in the history of humanity. But in the last you know, 15 years, that's now a reality. How many oh, times? Okay. How many times? Because I can tell you right now, um, about a dozen for me. is about a dozen times I was approached at this SHOT Show. I know you, but you don't know me. Yeah. And, and it's like. Well, that's a weird way to start a conversation, mm-hmm. you know. And but, dude, what do I do? I said, well, I'm about to learn you really quick, so I know if I'm a, if I'm your, are you friend or foe? I'm about to find out. Am I in danger? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, like, because yeah. well, seriously, like, for, <laughs> and 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 there, it goes deeper than that. It goes deeper than like just like, well, yeah, just know that you don't know the guy. No, it's 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 not that simple because like in in your brain's neurochemistry, like you just mm-hmm. you flat out think friend. Mm. Like you see this person and your, your, your brain is firing off receptors that say friend. My brain's receptors are firing off stranger. Yes. Yes. We, we, and, and we have to. Yeah. It, well, and it, it, there's, there's, it's not even like the way that we think, like the way that we're choosing to think. That is just, I don't know who the fuck you are. I'm sorry. Like I've literally never seen you in my life, but you've seen hundreds of hours of me. So you're saying friend. I'm seeing stranger. 
and it could lead to some weird interactions sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it doesn't mean to be weird because we like to be personable, right? Yeah, oh, dude, yeah, absolutely, man. And you know, <laughs> one comment that actually, like, in the comment section, I know I shouldn't read them, but I do. I am. I'm. I'm the same way. Yeah, it's I accessible. do. And I, w- I yeah. will never forget. There's one comment. And I'm not going to say the user's name, because but I, I remember it. So I oh, met, that that must have like fucking hit deep then. Well, it, because it, it's such a simple thing that just kind of like hit, right? It was one of these things where the the, the comment was simply. I met him talking and referring to me. I met Clint at shot. He was a little awkward, but <laughs> a nice guy. And I'm like, I get that a lot. <laughs> dude, I'm like, bro, depending on what day you catch me on, I'm surprised I was even looking at you in the face. You know, I'm like, I'm like a little awkward. And I think I even, com- I, I responded even, I was like, you met me at shot show. You did not catch me. I'm 100%. No. That's all there is mm-hmm. to it. Like, I don't mean to, uh, right. you know, like, I'm not trying to be like, oh, you know, I'm going to let this bother me or anything. But that was something that actually stuck with me. It's like, he was a little awkward, but a nice guy. I'm like, well, you know, bro. What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> you know? Which like, at, at these events, that's when most people are going to have these interactions. I mean, yeah. Like, because hung out like, in Clash Bash recently. Yeah. Like, for oh, example. Oh, God. A lot of. <laughs> that, that's the sorry, sorry I was that was looking for that was involuntary yeah. mm-hmm. that's I, a, I love clash like clash yeah. bash is a very very fun event for me but oh it's like, a fun event but dude <laughs> that was yeah hard man yeah. like i it's you you get like you, you try to distribute your attention equally mm-hmm. uh, amongst these people and it's it's yeah. it, that is a very hard task yeah, and, and these the, guys are ingrained in the community. Yeah. You know? Ooh, yeah, and they are deep into it, which is amazing. Which is I awesome. Mean, I, I love that them so much. I fucking love it because of it. Um, but going back to the stranger thing, um, they're so ingrained in the community. You're a friend to them, and yeah. you're firing off a stranger, and that can create weird interactions. Mm-hmm. It's really strange, and then and there's a lot of them like not very good at social interaction yeah. on top of that, like, which is like, it's fine. Like take, you know, but th- that like uh, you, you start adding all of these layers of depth to that and mm-hmm. it leads to some very strange mm-hmm. interactions that you're not in control of. Right. Mm-hmm. And it's, it is, it is a weird thing, but at the same time, it's also something that I'm like, I, I, I'm happy to meet you. You know, like, absolutely, yeah. man. Especially yeah, they're they're the people who make our livelihood possible. Well, oh, that, that. absolutely, right? And and here's the funny thing, too, is I actually have had yet, I have had, I haven't had a bad in-person-to-person, you know, meeting yet. Everybody's been, no, dude. Everybody I've ever come across has been I'm sweet. jealous. <laughs> dude, oh, I've, really? I've, had, I've had a couple. <laughs> have you really? Like, somebody, like, like a detractor? Like, somebody, like, bad? Like, like, straight up come to you and, like, hey, fuck you or whatever else. Well, not only that, but like some people that like. Well, this guy also was an NRA interviewing protesters. So <laughs> well, that too. What's hilarious is none of them caught on. Yeah, dude. None all right, of, literally all right. none of them caught on. So, I mean, bro, I I don't even know where I was going with that anymore. I mean, it's it's, it's really. I mean, at this point, we're past. It's being late. It's really early. You know, you look um, miserable. I'm sorry. Our our editor is just sitting over there, like, fuck. I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> 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 she only had 30 minutes of sleep last night. Oh, my God, dude. So, I mean, here we are, though. But, all right, you know what? Fine, fine, fine. Let's just say this is a part one to an ongoing collaboration between all of us here. And um, because, dude, I feel like this is another conversation because, Brandon, I mean, like I said, from the beginning, dude, yeah, we, we met, uh, we, we, we just became friends, bro. Yeah, and, and it's one of those things where... I, I, I'll never forget when I got your first a first text message from you. I was like, holy shit. I, I think I remember talking to you, Ryan. I was like, yeah. Brendan Herrera just texted me back. Mm-hmm. Like, I thought he'd give me a fake number. I was like, oh, my God. I should have. I was like, <laughs> Little did you know. <laughs> Little did you know you'd be speaking at <clears throat> almost 4.30 in the morning. And <laughs> had, had I known. <laughs> fuck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> had I known that, I probably would have. I'm not going to lie. Right, and dude, I'll just never forget like looking at Ryan. I'm like, holy shit, dude! Like Brandon's actually because right, you guys went, you guys came down to go see me in uh, in San Antonio. And we did. Then, uh, we we hung out on the the River Walk by uh, Mad Dogs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Show enough did, and uh, we shot we shot some fifty cows. And we shot some AKs, and 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 we timed each other. I know who could uh, mag dump a fifty cal versus a full auto AK faster, right? 
And uh, so that was a pretty good time. If you guys uh, want to know who won, you just got to watch the video, I guess. If you haven't seen the video, then you know, that's on you. And next time, you should probably come down when it's not summer. <laughs> that's a good yeah. point. <laughs> <laughs> so what's Texas doing? is a lot more fun <laughs> in the winter, spring, fall, <clears throat> literally anything other than like April to uh, to September. So um, what are you doing next weekend? <laughs> Well, whatever you guys want. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go down. Come on. <laughs> right. But no, man, it's been an absolute pleasure, bro. And I Enjoy think it. at this point, we probably should go get a, at least an hour of sleep before we got to get back up. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I'm just pull through. Just, just pull through. Just don't even yeah. stop at this point. Yeah. Full steam ahead. Hey, you know what? Give this a uh, just, I know, I know everybody's listening right now. Just go ahead and give this video a like if you just want us to keep powering through. I'll, I'll do Will you one work? better. I'll yeah. do you one better. Uh, let's go ahead and like this video and also hit that subscribe button that is 100% free to do. Oh. Because we are spending our hard-earned time <laughs> doing this, right? Oh, exactly. We could be yeah. sleeping right now. We, yeah, I mean, we, we could be sleeping, but instead we, we, decide, we, we desire to make fucking content for you guys. So, I mean, I he's, like he's not wrong. Button, you know. You're not wrong whatsoever. I could just call you whenever I want, but here we are. That is we're a, talking on camera. That is true. We are we are talking on camera and in microphones, which you did hit the record button, right? Fuck. Oh shoot. <laughs> you know. Fuck. No. <laughs> <laughs> one more time. I'll, I'll, I'll do one more we before we yeah. just, exactly. just one more before we call it a night, mm -hmm. man. I, I feel you on that. And so cheers, cheers to you, brother. Cheers, man. You no, know, it's an honest to God pleasure. I'm so glad that uh, we we ended up meeting you guys. Dude. And uh no, you know, hopefully we can uh, continue to collaborate on a bunch of shit in the future. Oh, yes. I I think we will. Mm -hmm. So we've been to San Antonio now. Yeah. Um, I think I think it's about time you, you come up our way. You know, where well, where else? I was I was born. Up I was going to say he's like, yeah, I've, I've been well, there. No, I mean, Fay Vietnam is one thing, but if you want to come to the peaceful side of things, Vietnam, you know, yeah, you know, kind of the the place I'm not worried about getting shot at every fucking Seven <laughs> Eleven. Yeah. It's just a, a spicy time, you know? I mean, you'll be all right. Oh, man. And Fayetteville's just spicy Charlotte. <laughs> I mean, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, Pretty yeah. much, yeah. Yeah, you just add spice for, you know, effect. But, um, but no, man, we need to get you out to the to the warehouse anyway and just, just take a look. And Honestly, I've, I've never seen it, but I would love to. Yeah, well, what would be really funny if you saw the, uh, the classic our, firearms mm -hmm. warehouse. Yeah. The classic firearms.com warehouse. Yeah, that's right. That would be super rad. I would love to see the classic firearms.com wet warehouse. God, I love this man. I love it. Dude, just, um, yeah. Where I could buy all sorts of stuff that Brandon Herrera would want at the classic yeah. firearms.com warehouse. Hey. That's my new ringtone. Is that's that it? it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's we're done. Yeah. Dude, I hope that gives me a raise. <laughs> I do this I mean, for a living. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but man, but but in all seriousness, get you out there, man. We we'll have a good time in the in the um, office slash yeah. studio, whatever the hell. And I'll be honest, we got all sorts of good restaurants and bars around us, and everything else too. It's not like Vegas has anything to offer. So you know, I mean, you know, whatever, dude. It's that Vegas has so fucking much to offer, and I've eaten at the same three restaurants this entire week. Checks out. It's, makes sense. You find you, you find some place you, you want. like. Exactly. Yeah, I was yeah, find yeah. Place you know you like. want. And yeah. and you know, no matter what, you're gonna have a fucking three hundred dollar tab. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? You know what mm -hmm. makes it? You know what makes it? The waiter or waitress, bro, dude. Mm -hmm. if, yes. if you if you get yourself a good server, and they're and they and they just even if the food's shit, but if they're smiling, they're having a good time, they're bringing you alcohol and whatever else, and you're like, I like you. I'm going to ask tomorrow. for you by name tomorrow. Mm -hmm. yep. Adriana, if you're listening, we're talking about you <laughs> at the, at the, at the big, spot, yeah. not sponsored. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Julian Grand Lux. Yeah. See, look, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. There, <laughs> it is. there it is. Right. You, you, you meet these people and you're like, damn, dude, like, you know what? You're awesome. You made this night totally worth it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Right. It, yeah. The, I, I, just, I love it. There's so much fucking variety. Like there's an entire like miles of, of just like awesome shit to do in Vegas. Yeah. And we're, mm -hmm. we're just like, oh yeah, you know, we're just going to stay here. Like same four restaurants. Yeah. Know? Yeah. All right. So one, one more thing I want to ask you though, before we, before we hop off here, have you actually had the opportunity to walk the like show floor and everything? You know, actually this year I, I walked it a lot more than I, I have in years. Oh really? Past. Oh good. Yeah. Um, no, not good. I mean, <laughs> you gotta make your steps in, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's like, mm. Right. Oh yeah. No, I got my cardio in this year. Um, oh, last like year, you. last year I barely hit the show floor. Mm. Um, this year I, I, I planned on hitting it even less, but 
you know, I ended up like going out because I, I I wanted to see some friends out there and ended up walking the show floor like with other friends that were also walking, like had to go like different booth appearances yeah. and stuff like that. So I, I spent a lot of time out there, met a lot of you guys, which is fucking awesome. Like, and I know we, 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 we bitched a lot about different shit, but like it's honestly got a pleasure to like get to meet the people that allow us to do what we do. It's it, 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 dude, it really is an honor. Really? Again, yeah, so. again, you know, having these people just walk up to us like, and the, and then they act like they're taking up our time, right? Like, I, I know you're really busy, you know, I got to go, but I just wanted to say I appreciate what you do. Dude, please, what is your name? Talk to me. Yeah, the, you know? the, those are my favorites. I, 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 I prefer the guys who are like, dude, I'm so sorry, because they, like, they value your time. Right. They're not going to fucking linger. Yeah. They're like, they, they want to, like, just talk to you real quick. But they're not going to be the guy who like takes a picture of you from like thirty yards away that you oh, see on Instagram yeah. later. That's yeah. fucking weird to me. That that like, part that part is weird. Like I, I, I would much rather, rather you just say hello. Just come say hey, man. Just come say hey. Shake my hand. Whatever the hell you want to do. And nine times out of ten, I'll probably have a fucking hat on me. Take a hat, you know. <laughs> yeah, like we're, like we're people. Yeah. Like I just we just yeah. want to hang. Like yeah. You know, like honestly, don't get me wrong. I, I I'm running from one booth to the to the other and everything. And if you catch me in between, you'll probably see me like just jetting. And if you stop me, you know what I'm going to do, dude. Thank you so much. How's your day going? You know, like, like, dude, what, what's what's been one of your favorite things that, at the show? Because to be completely honest, that's my job. Because yeah. I want to know. And, well, first of all, I I genuinely want to know. And then secondly, as as far as it being my job, holy shit, did I miss that? Damn, I didn't know that Hollow Sun had a night vision optic out. Fuck, you you said that's one of the coolest things you've seen. Well, let me go. You know what? I had a meeting over there. Fuck that. Let me go over here. It's funny you say that. Like I learned, I learned about a couple of new products that I was like kind of semi interested in from that, that yeah. exact, you know, scenario where people are like, yeah. yeah, no, I just fucking saw this thing. I'm like, wait, what? Wait, what? what? Yeah. Well, that's kind of neat. Okay. Maybe I'll go check that out. Right. You know, so it's a, it's a really cool thing. So if you see us walking the show floor or anything like that, and for, and if you're listening to this podcast and shot shows done and rain meets done, whatever the hell it might be. And you see us out and about dude, Come say hey, because first of all, like Brandon's been talking about, this is something that you, you guys are the reason why we're here. Quite simply, mm-hmm. if you weren't viewing, if you weren't listening, if you weren't subscribing, if you weren't sharing, none of which, us would have All of which job. you should be doing right now. Yeah, and if you're not, you're fucking wrong. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but honestly, we wouldn't simply, we'd simply not have a job. At the end of it all. And, and so for everybody listening right now, it's because of you that we are happy, able to sit at this fucking suite in the Venetian. Um, and with Which all of our podcasts. not podcast, cheap, not, by the way. No. With, uh, with all this podcasting equipment and everything else, and with you know some you know, good-looking guy with hair, I don't know, here we are. I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> say it's that long. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, but dude, you know, I think, I think it's about time we, we call it a quits. Call Thank it quits God. Now. Yeah, I am so tired. You know, I don't think you finished yeah, that, I'm, by the way. I'm, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's probably pretty, pretty lukewarm. I think it was actually mine. I don't know. But it probably was. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, right. But. But guys, you know, let us know what you think down in the comment section below. And if you've um, uh, if you've had a bad interaction with um, either one of us, you can let us know too. You're wrong, but you know that's on you, I guess. That uh, shit, that shit paranoys me, man. Yeah. Like, and then not to like, you know, divert off from that nice no, outro you ahead. were just about to do, dude. No, it's fine. No. I'm Go, petrified it. of having like bad fan fan interactions. Really? Really? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, dude, mm. like that that shit fucking bothers me. Somebody, uh, somebody approached me like a couple months ago saying like, oh yeah, no, I met you a shot last year. You completely blew me off, oh, and no. it broke my heart. Like I, like I was like, ah, oh, dude, I like I, I actively, I actively try not to ever let that happen, dude. So I'll even be- if I'm, like, I've been in fucking like, I, I've been like doing personal shit, like like yeah. real personal shit, like having fights with family or whatever. Somebody comes up and I like will put on like, all right, fucking camera personality on, like, yeah. good to meet you, dude. Like, oh, you know, it's so fucking cool, blah blah blah, like. You know, in the middle of like a like all out blowout, like fucking personal fight, and then to hear people say like, "Oh yeah, yeah, no, no," like I I saw you and you like you were an asshole, like that that mm. really fucking bothers me because I I try not to ever let that happen. So and I guess because maybe I haven't had that interaction yet, mm-hmm. um, I haven't seen that on social media yet. Because I'm gonna say yet yeah, because I I feel like this is almost bound to happen. I mean, dude, there's not, statistically speaking, yeah, like it's gonna yeah. happen. Like it's gonna, it's sometimes, gonna happen. like it, we just have a fucking bad day, man. Yeah, and and, and and it doesn't stop you from thinking that we're an asshole, but like, yeah, yeah, you know, and and that really does suck because I I said it, you know, kind of jokingly, but you know, I've I haven't been 
in that position. Have I had bad days? Yeah. And you're, and you're right, bro, because what, what I'll do is I'll just deep breath. All right. All right. Let, let's kick this off, everybody. Welcome yeah. to the Classic Firearms Podcast. You know, and, yeah. and then all of a sudden, like, okay, all right. You, know, you got a bunch of shit happening at home or whatever else. And sometimes, dude, somebody catches you and like, hey, I, I'm sorry, not time. And you walk away, right? And it's like, oh, fuck. You think about it later or you see it mentioned somewhere else on social media. And that part does suck because, you know, you are at least a genuinely kind person. Me, I, I don't yeah, I'm all right. This. <laughs> but, but, but dude, like even tonight before coming to the podcast, you, you called me and you're like, I'll be honest with you, man. If, if, if I walk in there right now, I just don't want to be like, I, I just don't want to have to blow anybody off. And, uh, and I'm, I'm like, I'll come to you. Which, is, you know, it's funny because I didn't even think about it in that regard. I was like, yeah. that was totally pragmatic on yeah. my perspective. Because I'm like, man, the last thing I want to do is go in a shot of like the, the, the circle bar. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. And like, oh, hey, yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. Like, I know that's going to take like half an hour because like mm-hmm. I, I want to spend time with people that give enough of a fuck, right? Right. Yeah. Make but I'd work. also rather bail out without them seeing me there. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I, the, I, the, the duality of man. Yeah, right, man. You know, and I. But dude, we totally get it, and I think a lot of our viewers and listeners are totally going to get it too. And just about all of your supporters, fans, viewers, listeners, wh- whatever the fuck, I think they're also going to get it. And it's and it's of course it's it's always that you know you'll get a thousand out of boys, and it's that one do better, or it's that one you fucked up that yeah. always sticks with you. And believe me, man. I've got a, I got a bucket of them in my head that that's not good. It's not healthy, but that's what sticks. Yeah. Right. And, um, but at the, but at the end of the day, that's, that's why, you know, Ryan exists. That's why you exist for me. That's why, you know, I've got some of my best friends too. You know, Tyler, if you're listening, you, you fucking better be listening. If you're a good friend of mine, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like, these are, these are why I have the people in my life that are, that are, that, that means something to me. Right. Right. And it's not to say that nobody else does. It's just to say that if I'm having a bad day and I need to talk to somebody, I can, I, can, I know I could call you guys, mm-hmm. you know, I know I yeah. could call you yeah, guys. Absolutely. That's important. Too. And, yeah. and you can relate for one, which is a huge deal. You know, like when people say like, Oh, you, all you guys just hang out together. And it's like, well, dude, you gotta, there's understand. a reason, man, you gotta understand where we're coming mm-hmm. from. Like we all relate. We can understand. Like when we have that bad day, it's like, Holy shit. We have that bad interaction with, with, uh, with a fan. Right. We have that bad interaction or something or somebody comes up and says, yeah, you know, you, you fucking suck for this or that or whatever. And it's like, dude, has, has anybody told you that before? And you're like, yeah, dude, it sucked. And it's like, well, how did you cope with that? And there's there's another thing like we're like, you know, we'll, we'll text each other like occasionally, whatever. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, sometimes shit will get lost. But like whenever like any of our friends, uh, at least like uh, like any of my, my my crew, like people that I know that do what we do, essentially. Yeah. They'll text you like. Man, I'm just not fucking feeling good. Yeah. Like I'm not feeling good about X, Y, and Z. Like you, you fuck. Like you get a text like that, you fucking drop everything you're doing. Like That's you walk right. out of your fucking like mm-hmm. grandma's funeral, like whatever the fuck you're doing. <laughs> right. You're like you, you pick up the fucking phone. Yeah. You're like, dude, are you okay? Um. Yeah. And and that and you know I'll be honest, man. I, I I talked about the you know more than I can count in two hands. Um. I I, I wish I got that text. Yeah. You know? I wear the, you know, the, and people ask me all the time, you know, like what the, what the tattoo on my forearm means, what the bracelet means that I wear, you know, and it means I got your six, you know, uh, again, okay. It's about self delete awareness. <laughs> all right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, uh, and you know, and it's something like that, that shit that like, cause well, it's, it's, it's shit that we do like, and, and on, on multiple levels and like in your end, like I know like the, the, the veteran self delete yeah. issue and everything, but you know, like even like a step further, like especially veteran, influencer shit like that like you, you're getting on like multiple angles like mm-hmm. you've entered civilian mm-hmm. life in a way that is impossible for other civilians to even relate to mm-hmm. it's yeah. fucking difficult man it is and um and you know and i and i really wish that for a lot of you know these guys i think about um that that i got that text that yeah. i got that phone call that just said hey do you got a moment you know i <laughs> Yeah, I, I can hear their voices in my head. You know, like I, I wish I could hear them just say, you know, hey, you got a moment. You know what I mean? Um, but you know, it is what it is, and uh, all we can do is be there for each other. Yeah, and there's you know? so many within other communities that aren't necessarily veterans that are dealing with oh, that yeah. as well. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no, for sure. I'm sure we, all three of us, have had yeah. something like that happen to a friend we really cared about. Yeah. yeah. So you know what? If you're listening to this, like before reasonable hours go ahead and text a friend it's not a bad idea yeah yeah honestly you know 
text somebody and just say, hey, thinking about you. If, if, you've, if somebody comes to your mind right now, they, they, they need that text. If they're, somebody, they're probably you know, coming to your mind for a reason. They, exactly. Yes. That's exactly right. If somebody mm-hmm. comes to your mind right now that you think you need to text, fucking text them. Mm-hmm. And, um, and, you know, I'll be honest with you guys. I think, I think I'm ready to close it out there. Right. Yeah, it's yeah. probably a good idea. Yeah. That, was, yeah. that was a nice little wholesome ending. Yeah, that's yeah, so not too I bad. Think so. Yeah. So I um, uh, just want to say, you know, thank you guys for, I mean, if you listen to this whole thing, holy shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, I mean, if you're, if you're here up until this point, God dang, I mean, God bless you. Right? God uh, damn it, Bobby. <laughs> 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 keep the motherfucker. <laughs> we're joking about you know, propane no. profit. For, for profit. <laughs> Dude, so I, I got to tell you guys, man, I, I honestly, you know, thank you guys. You know, I'm, uh, you know, Ryan always, you know, Brandon, thanks for joining us, bro. Mm-hmm. Dude. No, always seriously. a pleasure, man. Yeah. You, know, you know I'm here. Yeah. This, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised you guys agreed to it this late. Yeah, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I, I assumed that I'm you guys were going to be fucking asleep by now. This um, has been a roller coaster over the past two hours. No shit, yeah. right? I mean, seriously. We've covered yeah. a lot of ground. Wow. And this is only, uh, as I look at it, part one. Dude, I yeah. <laughs> no. like, I'm I gonna have, have to, to train like, my liver for part two. Dude, Shit. Yeah. Well, here's the thing: we, we didn't well, even get apple cider. I mean, apple that's fair. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, but yeah. here's the funny thing: we didn't even get into the shit talking of the ATF. So part, I mean, part two I'm, coming part two, soon. Part two, part two, part two, part two, part two. If <laughs> right. I start talking about it right now, I'm gonna get really jacked. We're gonna get really upset. <laughs> we're not gonna go to sleep, and it's fucking four o'clock in the morning. Um, I hate to break it to you. It's almost five. God damn it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop! There's an oh, illusion I'm, in my head. Don't ruin it. I know when my flight is tomorrow, and I'm fucked. Yeah. You mean today? Shut up. I know. <laughs> this is it. This is the worst part of it. God. Yeah, I mean, it's so is t- mine, actually. I got I to gotta meet with Knight's Armament if they choose to speak with me That's this so morning. Yeah. Holy shit. All right, I'm leaving it off there, guys. Brandon, again, thank you so much, bro. Get fucked. <laughs> it's always a pleasure man oh uh, dude uh, well we're looking for our next you know we're, you know what dude fuck you we're looking forward to the ak-50 when's it coming out anyway guys never, we never it's all cgi <laughs> guys we hope you've enjoyed the podcast and everything we, we look forward to your comments down below god bless and we'll see you next time on the cf podcast welcome back to the cf podcast everybody clint here today as your host we've got ryan back with us today what's up guys wait no 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 say it a little bit louder what's up guys that's it that's it that's it and on top of that you may or may not be familiar with our guest today he's uh he's kind of cool i think i think he's really big into 556 um uh he (laughs) absolutely loves ar-15s he's also known as the ak guy for some reason brandon motherfucking herrera i just i love the bass tones of your voice it's very soothing to me. I appreciate that. Yeah. I appreciate your bass tones as well. No, you, you're you're putting me to sleep right now. It's actually fantastic. <laughs> yeah, this is a, well, it is what I need at two uh, fucking forty in the yes, morning. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and we're, and we're past the fifteen <laughs> second mark, so we can do that. Which means now we can take our shot. There, there it go. is. Take your take your shot, and uh, it of is apple actually juice. of apple juice. It is it actually is. literally two oh, forty in the morning right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My last day of shot show. Uh, is it yours it, as well? It is. Well, it, kind of. I actually plan on hitting the floor at um, about seven o'clock. It's because you're a psychopath. Uh, yeah, that is uh, that is. A <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah, that's not incorrect. Mm-hmm. That is actually not incorrect. Um, uh, but you know, when I texted you earlier today, yes, and I said late night podcast at <clears throat> eleven p.m. I was expecting yes or no. Instead. Hold on, let me go back to my text messages. Oh, no. no. I'm going to get get called out. No, dude, it's cool, man. It's cool. Um, uh, Let me see. I texted you. Hey, um, uh, blah, 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 blah. I think I left it open-ended. Open-ended. I Um, said I was down to do a podcast. Let's see. I I sent the message at 5.32 p.m. I was very responsible. Late night podcast around 11. And you said, ooh, where at? I I may be able to make that. And that was at 7.18 p.m. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So it took me two hours to respond. That, it did. That it should did, it did, really it did. let you in at where yep. my head's at. Yep. And then, uh, and then I said, you know, at the Venetian, let's do it. Mm-hmm. We got beer or White Claws. And all we have is this classic <laughs> yeah, firearms apple that. juice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lie. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right Liver King. Yep. <laughs> that was a lie. We wrangled them in. <laughs> we got them. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've got them. <laughs> Oh shit! This is already turning out great. 
Oh, fuck. All right. Anyway, so, okay. Watch <laughs> your language, sir. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell, man. Watch your language. <laughs> Ryan, take over, dude. I can't. <laughs> I don't know what it, what's on your phone. I can't take over. Well, I mean, figure you're figure, hand figure it out, bro. All right. Yeah. So anyway, okay. Do you so, see what I'm getting at here? Yeah. <laughs> Do you see? I, I literally can't. All right. <clears throat> I was told this would be a professional podcast. I, <laughs> Yo, shut the fuck up. All right. <laughs> it was also supposed to be White Claw. So. All right. That's right, a right. list of lies. Yeah, yeah, just keep it going. Okay. Damn it. All right. So. <clears throat> Um, ooh, where at? I may be able to make that. I said the Venetian, let's do it. We got beer or white claws. And that was at mm, 7 28 p.m. I get a response at 7 40. That's a responsible. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. I'm proud of you. Well, thank you. <laughs> and thank you. That's like one of your earliest responses. Ha, ha, ha. I'm game for either. Laughy crying face. Okay, good, 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 good. Wow. And I said, Don't let's fucking describe the emojis. No, this is that doesn't work. No, this Jesus is so fuck. engaging. <laughs> I said, let's fucking do it. This is quality content. I know why you guys stick around. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is, I started this conversation at 5 p.m. Yeah. Brandon, what time is it on your watch right now? Uh, my watch is dead because of a <laughs> shitter. Um, 243? 243. Uh, 2.43. 2.43. To be fair, okay, to, to be fair, mm. I got here before too. Mm. Uh, it just took an hour to set up the fucking podcast. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Ryan. Are you everyone? At me? No, I'm just <laughs> yeah. looking at me. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm horrible. <laughs> Holy shit! All right, all right. We've all got right. the entire peanut gallery back here, who's <laughs> not going to be saying anything, but they're very lovely. I like yeah, them. This is the most lovely list. All right, so let's just go ahead and get this out here really quick. We do have in is our is that a 20 minute intro? God damn. Yeah, yeah, about there. Uh, five. Yeah. All right. We we can keep going. Can. Um, we can, I mean, can 15 you? minutes in. If, if you're ever wondering what SHOT Show is like, it's this. It this is, is the this. kind of conversation. Like, go back to the beginning of this episode, take okay. three shots of whiskey, wait, Bad. like, a couple go? minutes. Oh, we're going to make a drinking game. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Every time I mention the well, arcade take game. a couple shots, watch this again, and it's a lot funnier. <clears throat> All right. Damn it. Let's get on track yeah. here okay yeah, yeah. i get it it's 2 44 in the morning now mm -hmm. okay it is january 20th and it is shot show we have brandon herrera in the house well sweet sweet in the suite mm -hmm. all right we've got motherfucking ryan who you guys typically know to be like you know behind the camera and and now all of a sudden hey can you just i asked you this before can you give us a, a little haiku a haiku? Dude, yeah. what, what is that? Like five seven five? Like what? No. The fact that you know that uh, is a lot more than what I know. I, so. That doesn't mean I can do it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, isn't it basics. five seven five? That's what he said. It's five yeah. seven five. It, yeah, okay, five yeah. seven five. Yeah. So oh wow, we you're, you're really serious. <laughs> expecting me to come up with something. This is so bad. Uh, anyways, <laughs> all right. So anyway, we've got Ryan. I here. don't do haikus. Haikus are. Refrigerator. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> <laughs> You've been asked this question before, haven't you? I seriously, you could you could go back in the footage. I was counting that out on my fucking <laughs> fingers. <laughs> Editor, if you're listening, just please cut this part. Oh. No, no, just please oh, no. cut that one no. word. Uh, oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. But it was a good IQ, I promise. Mm -hmm. Oh, geez, that was good. <clears throat> that was oh, fantastic. man. Yeah. Again, here it is, day three of <laughs> SHOT Show. <laughs> And it is 2.46 it's in the day morning. Four. It's day four. It's day four. It's day four. Yeah. What are we doing right now? <laughs> I don't know. You invited me back to a suite, and I expected a casting couch, and I, instead I got a podcast. So <laughs> <laughs> We did lock the door, to be fair. So. Dude, I told you. Oh, fuck, I, it is again, locked. <laughs> I texted you, man. I said 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, late night. I said 11 o'clock, late night podcast. Here we are, 2.46 in the morning, and you know what we're doing? 
I was going to offer to do this tomorrow morning for like brunch, you know, like let's go get some manmosas, whatever, and then go back up to get like do the podcast. And then uh, instead you're like, no, 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 let's let's go up right now, which is a terrible idea. I literally have drill this weekend. I'm supposed to have my face shaved. I've got gear in my car. I'm pretty sure I forgot things. I'm supposed to be driving. Well, thank you for your head. service. Yeah, I really, well, yeah, you know yeah, what? I'm glad somebody. Yeah. You know what? I'm glad somebody in this room appreciates it. All right? I do. I do. You're a fucking here. American hero, and thank, I love you. Thank you, know, you I dude. I, God. Appreciate the hell out of you. You know what? If, if you did, you'd shoot more ARs. Anyway, you know what's funny is like a, a lot of people like are like, oh, well, well, Brandon, you, know, you you got seen like taking a picture with an AR. It's like I own more of them than you do. <laughs> like <laughs> like I, I don't know what you want from me. Oh my god, dude! All right, okay. so let's obviously this is our late night. This is this is cl- classic firearms after dark. Yeah, yeah, no wait. <laughs> like, For anyone who doesn't. Understand what we're doing. Yeah, <laughs> right. So, all right. So, mm-hmm. let's just kick this off right here. I mean, uh, yeah. obviously, we kicked it off a while ago. Oh, but no. what? What are we adjusting? Every twenty-eight minutes, right? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Got it. Thank you. Sorry, sorry, I called no. attention to that. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, like, did we not record any of this this entire time? <laughs> like, no, fuck. That would be the best. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> it'd probably be the best. Clint, yeah, I believe you had else. some topics you wanted to talk about tonight. Oh mm-hmm. shit, dude! I, you know what, man? Oh, my, my myocarditis is from the COVID shots kicking in. Um. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it wasn't yeah. the burn pits. Okay. <laughs> yeah, one of, one of the two. <laughs> it was something. All right. Anyway, 